Welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games, broadcasting at 60 frames a second. Mm -hmm. And uh, welcome, everyone. Tonight we have a lot of stuff. A lot? Uh, oh, some stuff. I wouldn't say more than normal, more than normal. but great stuff. <laughs> awesome stuff. Um, we're going to be taking a look at Square Raid. Mm -hmm. which is a brand new game by Ben Larson. Uh, we're also going to be taking a look at a QR code generator. It's not a game, though. Mm -hmm. um, but I included it as a item because we're going to be taking a look in-depth at QR code generation. Going yep. for a high score. <laughs> we are <laughs> going to go Carl for G. a high score on QR code generation. So <laughs> play along at home. Um, that's by Thomas Yench. Um and we're going to be playing the brand new Kung Fu Combat 2 mm -hmm. by E.A. Smith. Mm -hmm. uh, and going for a high score, actually, on Tower of Rubble uh, as part of the Harmony Games um, that uh, Dan ABC is running. Excellent. Um, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who are supporting us. And uh, the D-Train just renews, renewed his subscription. Excellent. Thank you, D-Train. Just before the show. So I want to thank Armscar Coder, Caffeman 2D, Catalog, Charles and Check, Coconut 81, Dianoid, Dan ABC, Fat Beavis, Grey Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC. And thank you for hosting the stream with one viewer, Jed, uh, Jedi Kia 2 <laughs> So one more person is watching. Uh, where did I have? Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, One Year Out of Jupiter, Storm 17, Carl G. Croco 2600, Malchitos, Mark Space Inc., Mathur Lazarus, Metal Atari, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strom, Packer, VG, Kohog, RC70, Repentless VG, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice, or S. Ramirez, the D Train 37, the Washman 89, and Tiki, Dan K. Lots of names. And you can support the show and subscribe for free mm -hmm. if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch no, Prime. Hey. And add Al Nefer to that list. Okay. Thank you, Al Nefer, <laughs> um, for uh, sneaking just under the wire. It's a it's, it's a good reminder for people if it that, is. that they that they let their uh, subscription lapse, right? Yeah. So if you didn't hear, and Ground your... Trooper. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Ground Trooper. <laughs> yes. How could it be thirty months? I don't know. That that's a long time. Yeah. So yeah, if you didn't hear your name and you regularly hear your name, then you should check your um, subscription mm -hmm. and make sure you follow and like and subscribe and all the things twitch youtube facebook instagram and twitter so you know of exciting shows <laughs> that are coming up and cats that are making noises yeah <laughs> uh we've got some mail to open uh it's not a gorf sound bite it is using the atari vox mm. it says thank you for the subscription mm. or um thank you for following or, like rah, 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 or which just is more what I hear. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It is. Um, now I didn't talk about this T-shirt last episode, even though I got it new. No, you you were too too um. Fo well, I don't focused wanna... on chatting with Bob. So uh, yeah. Kittens. Oh, I didn't want to interrupt <laughs> interrupt the developer spotlight we were doing. Yes. To talk about a T-shirt. Yes. And just say, Bob, hold on for a second. Yes. We got to talk about this T-shirt. We got to talk about our clothes right now. <laughs> Yeah. But um, yeah, I opened and and wore this last episode. Yeah. On the developer spotlight, it I I saw it online and I liked the design because it's kind of like a, the underground. Yeah, like the London underground. London underground. A little bit. Yeah. Um, with tar Atari in the middle. Yeah. It's very low quality. Yeah. I advise against buying this shirt. It lo <laughs> it looks nice. Yeah. But it, it's very blurry and there's. It, I guess it's supposed to look distressed and old, I don't but know. it is, it's not silk screened. It's just like a, you know, it's plasticky. Yeah. yeah. Which most, most t-shirts are online a lot that are. you're buying. Yeah. You never really know the quality when you buy them. I mean, it the probably time. looks okay on stream, but yeah. in person it it's, does, it's yeah. kind of, eh, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out and buy this. Wouldn't recommend it. It so. looks almost like it's like an image of an image that someone has put on too, which I don't like <laughs> yeah. that look. Like it's not very Low crisp. scan image. Yeah, like a low scan. Yeah. But it's cute. I mean, the design's cute. It now fits the, the retro look. Yeah, exactly. Now, on the other hand, uh -oh. Uh -oh. there's this shirt, which I highly recommend. Ah, uh, nice. It's from the Zero Page Homebrew Store. Nice. Which is the 7800 shirt. Yeah. There we go. Um, so I'll wear that next episode because nice. next episode is a 7800 show. Um, but, uh, yeah, 
Looks pretty nice. I like it. Pretty yeah, nice I like colorful. it. I like the color. Yeah, yeah, it's really. So I wanted something colorful. I wanted something with 7,800 mm. on it because there is like one shirt and it's just like a picture of the 7,800. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's all we get. So yeah. I had to make my own. I couldn't put Atari on it because I'll get shut down. Mm -hmm. But who knows what that means? 7,800 what? I like the number. Yeah. We like the number. So um, <laughs> if you want to get this. It could be a reference to anything. Yeah. Yeah. Could be. And it's just <laughs> colors. Uh it's from the Zero Page Homebrew Spring Collection. Yes. It actually is. It just it came is. out. <laughs> uh so what what is it? Teespring? Is that it? The store? I don't know. I'm looking up. So if you wanted to get that, uh T Teespring. T Public. T Public. Teespring. I don't know where it's at. There's that so came many from. there's so many stores that sell T shirts. Hi. There we go. So let me get that. For those who are interested. What the hell? Why would it? Oh my god. Cat, <laughs> you're not making this easy. You're not making this he easy. He likes to interfere. There that is we his, go. That is his job. <laughs> One second and I'll post the link. It's all getting into the bag there. There we go. Oh my god. He's a good kid. So there's the link for that. <laughs> He's a, normally a good kid. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Now I have a 7800 shirt to wear on some of the 7800 nice. days. Yeah, you were, you were complaining there's not a lot out there. So No, and when there isn't something out there, make your own. Yes. Because nobody's going to make it for you. That's very true. Well, some people might, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I also have this. I think I know what it is. I hope it's what it is, because then I already have some information about it. It is what it is. Yay. What I thought it was. What, what is it? it? <laughs> I thought I ordered two, but I guess I don't really need two. It is a an adapter. Okay. Because I don't have enough adapters. No, you don't. <laughs> uh, to bridge the old with the new. Okay. Uh, what it is, it adapts USB. Okay. To uh, nine pins, but specifically an Amiga or Atari mouse. Okay. So okay. you can plug your USB, modern USB mouse. Oh, to play. And oh. to play games on uh, either 8-bit Atari systems okay. or the 7800 because it also supports mice. Beca and I bought this specifically to play Muddy Funster's new game that's coming out, uh, which is called Walker right now. You know that little guy that was has a little, those little men uh, running across the screen and there's like a mech that you could aim? that we played with the trackpad the other day? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That actually uses a mouse. That's going to use a mouse, okay. that game. That would make sense. Um, so let me show everybody on the cat cam uh, what this looks like. Truly a cat cam. <laughs> it is. So there it is. Uh, there's the USB part of it. And there's the nine pin part of it. There's a cat on there. <laughs> Um, background so, cat point and kill interface yes oh my god you gotta get out of there so i'm looking forward to using that um and be able to use mice games and i don't i don't know if there's any mice games other than, than the then. one that's coming out uh well, you'll if have anybody... to look and see if any uh benefit from a yeah so mice. i can do mice game day or something will that fit into oh no it will not you you will need uh an extender mm. yeah don't don't I, I definitely never recommend plugging things like this uh we can get out of the cat cam plugging things <laughs> like this directly into the 7800 i mm. like for my atari vox i i have an extender and then it's uh reduces the wear and tear on okay. the ports on your 2600 7800 and it makes it so much easier because it's already coming out and you just plug it in cool um so Yes, lemmings. Lemmings would be perfect. Yes, definitely. Great idea. Um, so I got the Zelda Game & Watch two weeks ago, and it is definitely the best Game & Watch I've ever played. Mm. Um, so if you're looking for a really good Game & Watch, I highly recommend it. Have you shown it, it off? Um, yeah, I did. Oh, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You unboxed it. That's did I right. show it on the cat cam, though? I, I don't know. I think I did. Um, but it works perfectly. Um, yeah, I did. There's the Zelda Game & Watch. There's 
use the inside of it. Where did I go? There we go. Nice. And the back of it. Yeah. Works perfectly. Um, I would say the second best one is the. Oh, cute. <laughs> you haven't flipped it yet. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> oh. Oh, just missed it. Super Mario Brothers. Yes. And probably my third favorite one is uh, Bomb Sweep. Mm. Um, very good, good games. Mm -hmm. um, but they're expensive now. Getting more expensive. Harder and harder to find, too. Uh, not really hard to find. Like, they're always on eBay. It's mm. just the prices are not. Going, going up. Yeah. yeah, prices are going up as as more and more people find out or re remember them from their childhood. That's what motivates prices. It's like, oh yeah, I remember that. I should buy it again. And then it just goes up and up and up. Um, the Atari Age store is offline. Offline? It is offline Why? as of possibly today. <gasps> possibly a couple hours ago because I haven't seen anybody post about it in the forums. Uh, why is because it's uh, possibly too successful right now. Too successful. Uh, so Good. I went and, and checked, and it said uh, on the store page, the Atari Age store is tef temporarily closed <gasps> to allow us to catch up on orders. Oh, well, good. Too popular. Too popular. You're ordering right. too much stuff. <laughs> I've been seeing on Facebook yeah. constant posts about people getting their new Atari Age store really? orders. Well, good. So That's I think excellent. people are ordering a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just... Uh, I, I think um, new releases and things that have come out have well, kind of spurred people to... The new release... Yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe they've started looking at the games again. Yeah. The new releases are not shipped yet. Oh, I see. Okay. But it says here, we have taken the Datari Age store offline until the beginning of May Ooh. so that we can concentrate on building and shipping all the new pre-order games mm. because people have ordered them. Um, and there's, I'm sure, a lot of orders. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of great games coming out. Orders that have already been placed will be shipped in normal fashion. Uh, if you need to contact us for any reason, question about an existing order, uh, urgent need to order something in the store. I'm trying to think of what would constitute an urgent need to order something in the store. Like, life or death, I need this game. <laughs> today open up the store al <laughs> um, please use our contact form to send us uh, a message so uh oh al's done this in the past i i, I haven't known that it, but i mean i've only been following it for like five five years more than that I'm doing the show for three yeah uh maybe seven years or something mm. a, a gift for somebody i yeah yeah he might mm -hmm. yeah say yeah. that's an urgent gift uh, urgent uh, need yeah Wednesday would probably be a valid reason. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yep. <laughs> that works. Um, so he says uh, until the beginning of May. Wow. So that's going to be a fair chunk of time. two weeks, a little bit over two yeah, weeks. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I get that. He, he's got to focus on that. He doesn't want to. I'm amazed miss at how any. people have to have a specific game now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, yeah, people might think that at once it's offline. It's like, I was going to order that tomorrow yeah. and now i can't yeah, yeah. but uh yeah it looks like it's only for two weeks two to three weeks so not bad. just write down what you want to order mm -hmm. and you get ready open, to order open it. open your your keep notes you know That's on right. google or whatever the your equivalent start. is and just start writing down you know yep all your wish list all the wish list yeah yep. um so i was going to buy you a bunch of games for your birthday and now it's going to be i don't know if they're going to arrive in time <laughs> you know, you have a huge list of Atari 2600 games that you want. Or maybe it's me that I wanted. <laughs> Would you accept that if I bought them for your birthday and then I played them? No? Okay. No. <laughs> uh, sorry, I had a technical issue. What did you say about the adapter fitting or not in the 7800? I, uh, this, uh, you'd have, probably have to take out, no, it wouldn't fit. There's like some edges here. Um, you'd have to make sure that you have a very thin plug i'm actually going to try it yeah that's a good idea in, not directly in the 7800 but in this these adapters i've got these you want to flip it over and no. to the cat cam or no well you're... this one fits yeah uh, you oh yeah yeah uh let's go to the cat cam he it, it really is a cat cam today the cat in the way yeah <laughs> So in the way cat cam this one and it i think it does fit there's it goes in quite a bit 
I can't confirm. I guess it might light up. There, lights up. Con confirmation. It's flashing. It's going to blow up my 7800. You can disconnect it right now. <laughs> uh, then I have another style, which is the metal style here. Slack. This is definitely going to fit. This has very deep, uh, deep recess. Yeah. And let's turn it on. Here we go. Lights up. I'm sure the Atari 2600 does not know what to do with that. So I'm going to plug it back in this 2600. Um, plug it directly in. I'm not going to do it. I wouldn't advise it either. There we go. Uh, nine pin serial cable. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely a nine pin uh, serial cable type thing. It's got nine pins. Um, so we're gonna get to the games. Uh, the first game is Square Raid by Ben Larson. Uh, this was first posted April 8th. Uh, this build is from yesterday. Uh, he is the programmer who has done uh, Panky the Panda, that excellent, mm. excellent platformer. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, he also did Incoming, and uh, now this is his third game. Um, and you can download this in the Atari Age forums. This is actually a port of his own game that was a JavaScript game uh, of the same name, Square Raid. So we're going to take a look at his JavaScript uh, version first. And it is playable through a web page, his web page. Atari age slippers or yeah. ZPH slippers. <laughs> uh, D train was saying nice sure. slippers, James. So it got, uh, got people. Those on are Tanya's in the cam. No, no, yours. Right your, your blue ones. Your oh. blue ones. You, you were from before. There uh, you go. Yeah, they're nice. I like the ones with backings. So they don't <laughs> slip off. I find if they don't have a back, it's a lot easier to slip off. Yeah. Anyway. We do need ZPH slippers because the feet show prominently some from time to time in the they show. They do. Yeah. <laughs> It said ZPH across my... the uh, across the front, and it is well, pronounced my... ZPH. We are Canadian. Yeah. Uh, so let's take a look at his game here. So the keys are W A S D and mm -hmm. B for bomb. Just have to reload it to restart it. So W to go up. <laughs> Loose suede shoe slippers. Slippers that don't slip. And then B for bomb. The W takes a little bit on this to get going. Hmm. Like if you hold it down, it takes it takes a while to go. So you are the little floaty block yeah. up there, and you can. In this, you can bomb as much as you want, so you can just destroy the enemy. But you have to not get hit by those other little black dots. That's right. So they are shooting up you up at you with their bullets there. Mm, interesting. Oh, you can hit them. Uh, yeah, you can go right through them. You just can't hit that. Yeah. Gotcha. So don't get hit by them. Okay, simple, simple. Yeah. Very simple. And uh, and great for converting over to the 2600, too, because it's uh, just a bunch of blocks mm. and little dots. And 2600s can do that quite nicely. Blocks and dots. Blocks and dots, yes. Uh, so let's take a look at the 2600 version of Ooh. this. Ready. Cat's laugh. How does that happen? Hmm. There you go. Maybe because he's loafing right next to it right now. Okay, I'll switch over. Our laptop On is left. still has no power so very dead our chat is small uh, and small. there i don't know how to can you get rid of that no because it doesn't expect you to get rid of the picture mm. so if you That's could load shame. it up please what is it under under today's square date raid. under square raid nice now i've got a chat over here i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger So in this, you get six bombs gotcha. at once. And what? it's got actually a better uh, little background, too. Yeah, I like the background. Very 3D-ish looking. Um, so, Ben Larson posted, uh, he said, Hi, everyone, and happy almost the weekend. Uh, that was 
weekend before. Uh, it's been some time since my last Atari 2600 homebrew. Well, last year I started tinkering again, and sure enough, one thing has led to another. Now it appears I'm roped back in. You can never escape 2600. Ah. It'll always come back to get you. Uh, the latest effort is an attempt at a port of a JavaScript game I wrote some time ago for a 1K JavaScript competition. The game is called Square Raid and is what you might be described as a gravity game because there is momentum and there is gravity. You're not just floating. You do have to constantly fight the gravity, right? Yeah. Oh. Uh, you control a ship like you would in Lunar Lander, except you're not actually landing. <sighs> Instead, you're dropping bombs and getting shot at. It starts off rather slow paced, but gradually enemies begin to spawn faster and it ramps up. The goal is simple. Survive as long as you can and get the highest score possible by destroying enemy squares. Oh, there we go. How come I can't hear ah. anything here? You guys are hearing it, but I cannot hear it. Oh, I know. That TV is turned all the way down. Or maybe not. Oh, there we go. It was quiet. Uh, if I'm being honest, the main reason I started this in the first place is because I wondered how many bullets and bombs can I get on the screen at the same time? The answer seems to be about 20. And that's running at 30 frames a second using a uh, super chip RAM. Uh, the difficulty settings control the enemy's bullet speeds are uh, left easy, right easy, slow. So right now we're on left easy, right easy. So the enemy bullet speeds are slow. Hmm. Yeah, decent. Yeah. Decent. Yep. Uh, you can have slow, normal, and fast speeds of the enemy. Background reminds me of Beam Rider. Yes, or Juno First. Yes, that is true. Or Buck Rogers, or anything that has those graduated kind of uh, lines, which give kind of perspective, almost. I mean, they're not really doing anything or moving here, but they kind of just uh, make it look nice, right? So it's got this... I, I took a look at what everything's being used as. So you're the square, mm -hmm. the blue square, which is player zero which makes mm -hmm. sense. Um, the other player is, uh, other player character is the score at the top, which I'm guessing only goes into s double digits. Or might, you might be able to fit oh, another I mean, one there for a hundred, but I don't know, it's only eight across. You'll have to get up to uh, 20 something so we can see the score mm -hmm. and see if he, he uses more than one player character to represent it. Because one and a three, because the three is only two pixels wide. See the, f yeah, the still a four. The four, a four is, is not a full four. It's a very compressed four. <laughs> so he's using two and a space and two. Oh, then you could fit, yeah, three digits quite easily. Right? Two, 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 six plus two. Yep, yeah, you could do up, go up to 999. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Esther says some of the numbers look cool, some not so much. Don't really look like numbers. The, the, six, ah! the six is fine. Terrible. A seven would be fine. Seven was fine. Eight is just a block. I don't know what a zero. I have to look at the zero again. Two is fine. Three is fine. <laughs> I think four might be a bit compact. Let's see. Four is. That's four. Eh, five's fine. You wouldn't know it's. Six ah, is okay. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> at least if you go up. Yeah. Seven's going to be okay, because it's just going to be a line. Oh. Uh-oh. What happened there? One of our lights went out. Seven. Eight is interesting. Nine is going to be... Oh, only saw nine for a second. Sorry. And so zero is just a big block, and eight is like a block and a line. That light has been giving me more and more problems. Really? Yeah. Turning on. Now it's, it's the first time it's ever turned itself off. Mm. It turns itself on? No. Oh. It turns itself off. I thought you were... You were... I, I have trouble turning it on sometimes. Oh, I see. Oh, should look fine on RF. Mm. 
Yeah, because there's going to be lines. So it'll look a little bit better on RF rather than... <gasps> Shoot, oh, 16. 16, 17 was my best last time. Um, Try that again. Carl G said, this is beautiful and usual for 2600 games that it keeps track of that many shots. Yeah. And sometimes they blink out, but I think that's okay because, say well, they're like passing through clouds or something, right? Yeah, but they're still there. They would they're still, still there and they you, come, and they, oh, they do, and they come back. Yeah. Actually, may, they may not hit you. Depends if he's using uh, hardware collision, which I would guess he would be, because that's much, much easier. And it's funny that your shots all have gravity as well. They have momentum. They have momentum and gravity, and it's really cool. Like just the presentation and the the, the tininess of everything. I like I, I like games like this um, that have the physics, where you have to play with the physics of the game. <laughs> yes. To kind of get it. Get, get the, um, Those are Thomas the floaty... Yench's uh, yes. fav favorite games. Yeah. Hence his name's Thrust. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh, it got me. Uh, yeah, Crossbow yes. was, says he was wondering how those score digits would look on a CRT through RF. Because mm. 8 would be like, have some lines, and then it has an extra line, and then another line at the top. Um, Carl G said, this is beautiful, unusual for 2600 games. Uh, at first, I didn't realize you could drop that many bombs at once, as I did much better once I realized that. I would personally like to see different colors for your bombs versus the shots coming at you. Perhaps a more solid looking ship, but it's also good as it is now. I mean, he's adapting his JavaScript version. You could change the, uh, the look of your ship easily to anything, yeah. really. But I think he wants to keep the theme of the blocks. Um, um, and uh, Ben responded, yes, the maximum is actually six bombs and 14 bullets at once on the screen. I thought at first that maybe I could go even higher, but I determined after staring at the code for a while, it probably wasn't going to happen without going down to 24 or 20 hertz, even if I could find the RAM space. Because you do have to keep track of every single bullet with an X and Y coordinate. And also, well, your bullets have to have momentum. Um, where they are and also their acceleration at the time. Um, and then, Ben Larson, this is what he said about this version being posted. He said, okay, new ROM. The changes since the last one are fit fix for bank switch bug that was causing us a uh, crash in Stella. Added a basic player hit animation so it doesn't look like the system would just froze when you die. Because people were thinking their whole system froze. Before. Oh. <laughs> um, and support for the joystick button to start a new game, which I requested. <laughs> of course. I'll request that any game yeah. that does not restart with the button that can. You haven't gotten to the point where you're refusing to play games that don't restart. Oh, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I would just complain bitterly. <laughs> and make... Uh, grunting noises yeah. if I had to go up and uh, Old man grunting it. noises, yeah. Um, this causes a screen roll now, but that'll eventually be uh, addressed. It, it's not that bad of a screen roll. Yeah. Uh, let me know if you guys see any issues. So, um, and the enemies on the ground are playfield, which works just fine because, you know, they're all in a row and they're just all one color. And they're only, you know, four pixels wide. Kev Kelly says he always uh, loved gravity games as well. It does look cool, yeah. very calming effect. It is. It's it's, it's not, not super urgent, it's not, is it? It, it? it gets crazy, but it's, it's not like it's not easy necessarily, but yeah. it's not um, frantic or anything. You know, there's it's not anxiety inducing like some games are. Whoa! Oh. My turn. Yeah. Ten. Or yeah. Eighteen. Seventeen no, 10. was my better. <laughs> that was your best one. Yeah, I think seventeen. Let's see what I can do. Thanks, Seventeen. It's 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 not hard to play, which is nice. What I would recommend to him as well, if he can, is that if you watch the bullets as they pass through the blue, um, they blank out the blue parts. And if he could include like an H move to make sure that it's always black down one side, that would get rid of that little flashiness. Because the flashiness also happens when the enemy bullets go through mm. the blue as well. And that would reduce um, that flicker. Yeah. But sometimes that's not as easy as it sounds to do. But if you looked on all the Activision games, they made sure they did that. 
um, to make sure there's no black lines along the left hand side. Because his background is black, they blend in. Say if his background was um, white or, oh my god, <laughs> uh, white or, um, you know, pink or whatever, you would see all those black lines constantly moving up and down. So if he's able to blank those out, it'll look even better. And you won't even notice, because the, the screen will just be slightly less wide. Rain bullets. Mm -hmm. What? That's the worst. They just there all go, go in between. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, come on. Those poor defenseless dudes at the bottom of the screen. Just raining bullets on them. Well, they are raining bullets up on you, so. They are. I think he just um, increases the number of guys on the ground, like accelerates yeah. the number of guys on the ground. Yes. And the number of bullets in the air simultaneously mm. so it's still not like hectic because he has 16 to or 14 bullets at once that he can 14 uh, at once? shoot up upwards gotcha yeah yeah so cool to, having to dodge the incoming volley of bullets it's I amazing agree. i think it's, that's a really neat really aspect. cool it's nice and and because you're floaty you know, you, you have a bit of thrust upwards. Yep. You have to be very careful that you're looking at where the bullets are heading and where you're moving because it's, you can't just Yeah, turn, can't just go right? anywhere. Yeah, yeah, and I like that. You, you have to... You can't just move quickly. Get a feel for the physics of... Uh, oh, my goodness, you're really high up. 37? Um, I love any Atari games where there's a lot of something. Like, somebody yeah. has figured out how to do... 40? Mm -hmm. To put a ton of things on the screen. Like, like in, um, say, Robotron, mm. where he's able to put the grunts, like, I think that's their name, like yep. just massive amounts of them because he's using Playfield for them. And in this one where uh, there's, like, ball multiplexing going on, and, I mean, for the, the bullets that are coming up, there's only one per line. The only problem that happens is when one of my... Um, when my, one of my bombs passes at this on the same line as one of the bullets. But you could either even get around that. No, then it would be not so good. Um, you could use missiles. Missiles for my bombs. And I think that would be perfectly acceptable. And then there'd be no flicker whatsoever. Well, no, that's not true because my uh, there could be more than one of mine on the screen at the same time. Yeah, I knew it. Um, 52, good job. Because there's momentum and my bombs don't just fall, yeah. they can go up and down. So there yes. could be two or three on the same line at a time. Yep, 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 yep. But very cool. I love it. This could be a twin stick candidate. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what you would do with the other stick. <laughs> oh, I see. Shooting. Mm. Well, it's only eight way. Like a joystick's only eight way. So. But I get 52. Mm -hmm. You can pull it. You can, you can... You try beat that one. Mm -hmm. 2600 first bullet hell. I swear there's been another game that has had a pretty good bullet hell. But this one, it would definitely be described as a bullet hell. There's, mm -hmm. I mean, 16, 14 to dodge. That's quite a, quite a bit on the screen. I think any flicker now is really minimal and not a big deal. Yeah, this is... Uh, yeah, but then I always thought something was wrong with my TV when playing Activision games because of them always being shifted to the right. There's always just one black bar down the left there. So it looks like it's all... I mean, you could always, uh, with the old TVs, use the horizontal uh, mm. positioning and kind of center Activision games. And then you have to recenter them after you stop, after you play a different game. Mm -hmm. J52. Thank you, S. Ramirez. So, um, after this, we're going to take a look at some QR codes. Oh, yes. Exciting. <laughs> let's, let's, um, it's let's interesting. create some QR codes. <laughs> yes. It's a QR code creator game. Um, and we're going to take a look at every single Atari uh, 2600 game that has implemented a QR code in it. Are you uh, still playing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
I'm not doing very well, so <laughs> I'm trying to get my ah my score up. Oh, it's not ah. stressful because there's no stressy music behind it. What would what music would be appropriate for this? No, I want it to be meditative. I like it. Mm. I like it. It doesn't it doesn't need to be all stressy. That's no good. You could have. I don't think it. I think we talked about this before. You know that um, specific sound. What was it called? Where it rotates, where one sound either like goes up and up and up, and then another one slowly, quietly comes in behind it and goes up as well. And it's like, uh, what was it? like a carousel effect or something. I can't remember what it was called. You could do that with this one. Like, And another one quietly coming in. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Except the 2600 sounds, the default TIA sounds are so not <gasps> great at that <laughs> of incremental. But maybe you could you could work it out. New Order Blue Monday comes to mind. Yeah. The way I was singing it. Oh, maybe. Oh, no. <laughs> That would make it stressy. I, I think it would, but I don't know if it, you could achieve what I was describing. 18, come on, you could do it. No, look at them all, what's going on? There's so much on the screen oh, right yeah, now. Oh yeah, they're attacking. You gotta thin out the herd. No. Oh, I wanna play one more. Okay. One more time after this. Okay, yeah. And I am going to not shoot any of them. What? You want to see how much? How many they can? How many they fill out on the bottom of the screen? You just want to play dodge. Oh, you can do this. Well, right no, no, no. you're going for the. Well, I'm trying to get a little bit better score than I have. Before. Something like the music for Spaceman Splurf would be cool. Spaceman Splurf is an amazing looking game. Oh my god! And it's got amazing oh, music. Call me. Twenty-seven. Okay. Much better. Now I'm going to go for zero. <laughs> oh, oops. <gasps> that was my that. <sighs> yeah. Oh, it's because I, is it there now? Oh, see, it, it appeared right where I where I shot. Why were you trying to shoot it? I'm all? not because you have to. It's gonna do it again. Oh, score of one's fine. It always seems. Why are you trying to kill yourself? Just dodge. Don't appear. Don't appear. Don't appear. Yay. There okay. we go. There. Now there's no score. It's not even a zero. Yeah. You can also get. Max gravity here. So Crossbow says, it isn't discussed much, but I thought the speak jet used in the Avox? Atari box. Atari box card can? Can? Oh, also yes. Also generate synth films. It, it can, yes. Can it? Anyone yeah. ever programmed anything to do that? I have Ooh. not. That's cool. It's Most people, I probably don't program anything to do it because you would miss it if you mm. don't have an Atari box. Mm. It, it would have to be additional sounds. It would be fun. Yeah, oh yeah. A game like this, you hear the... And you could have a whole synth soundtrack going in the background. Well, what somebody would have to do is like, cool. if you have an Atari box, play it cool. on the Atari box. If you don't have one... <gasps> Popcorn! It would... Do, 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 do. <laughs> that would be a weird song. choice for this oh, it's game. Great. But it is like popcorn floating up. Pop, 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 pop. Are any of them being added or is it maxed out on the bottom? Hmm? I don't think I any don't more know. are being added. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It looks like there are eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 9, 10, 11. It looks like there are 11 boxes at the bottom. Okay, but none, no more are being added. I'm not seeing. He is maxed oh, yeah. it out. 12, I think. 12? Okay. Is that 3 or 4? No, I, th I think that's 3. 1, uh, 2, 3, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, no. 9, four. 10, 11. I think it's 11. <laughs> I know, you're going to have that in your head all day now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Eagle's fault for uh, making a 7800 version of popcorn that we played a couple of shows ago. Besides the score, maybe add time to see how long in time you survive. Opposite of a speed run. Yeah. Damn. So how long can you last with all everything at the bottom? You could. You could Infinitely. have it timed. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that hard. Because they actually it's shoot dodging. towards you. Like look. But but you've said it's it's limited. 
to, to how many bullets. to fourteen bullets on the screen. So yeah. once you get used to it, it doesn't get harder per se. No, and if you stay I mean, near you the top, to dodge. yeah, the closer you are to the bottom, the harder out. it is to dodge because they come up fast. Yeah. But being close to the practice. bottom makes it easier to hit them. So it's good practice for dodging. It's really good. It has a nice dynamic that way. Anyway, I think I could dodge forever. So. Oh. There we go. Very, very cool. Um, maybe a music he could add to it. Um, mm, reminds me of sparks and particles from a fireplace, Crossbow 777. Yes. I could see the coloring being changed and flame flicker effect mm. used as a screensaver. It, it does have like a fiery yeah. if you sparks. Moved, and if, and if you could move the, the blue up oh my slowly, yeah. that would be cool. Or down. Mm. Probably up. That's very would trippy. Be cool. Yeah. Uh, that would be very trippy. Yeah, I, like I just saw this one, and I was like, I just love the aesthetics of it. Yeah, I like this one. Carl um, G says, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just it's, it's simple. Good. It's very clean. I yes. love the tiny dots, the single pixels. Yeah. It just makes it, and the and the single pixel lines as well. It mm. just makes the game look so clean and so precise. Mm -hmm. And the opposite of, like, the chunkiness that everybody associates the 2600 mm. for. Um, okay, so now we're going to get into... A QR code generation. Oh, nice. Now try it on difficult. Oh, you haven't tried it yes. on difficult. Sorry. Yes, thank you, I suppose. Yeah, I always forget that. Totally so. forgot about that. So I think difficult is AA. Um, so if you want to pick it up, you and can try it. And smash. Uh, let me just make sure. Uh, no, left, easy, right, hard. There you go. Yeah, sometimes I forget about that. The options. Oh my gosh, they're fast. Oh yeah, my gosh. That's pretty fast. I always hate this guy on the end. Because <laughs> you disappear if you're not. Uh oh. Playing. That is very fast. Like, you have to play it safe. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that's harder for sure. That is much harder. Your bullets don't go any faster. Gravity hasn't changed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, your bullets have the same physics. Yeah. That hasn't changed at all. Yes, yeah, so you really have to be careful. Oh, just missed it. I want more than six. Missed by a pixel. Ah! Whoa! I think he could could program more in. I mean, the flickering is not. Ah! Oh, oh my gosh! I ran right into that one. I know. Floaty. Okay, I'm gonna play another game. Okay. This game? <laughs> on hard. Yep. Just one. My strategy is just lay down all six bullets on each guy. Well, yeah, but the, you have to dodge here. It makes it a little bit harder. Wow. All right, doing well. You can do a, well. I mean, if you're if you're board. positioned right, three is enough. I find. <laughs> Not good to change directions. I won't have a game. You're doing pretty good. Sure. It's pretty fun. We'll see. Okay. You convinced me. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Oh, good idea, Train. Isn't that why we're here? To have fun? Yes. No. It's to pet cats. And petting cats is not fun. Petting cats he's, is... he's extremely upset because. Petting cats is serious business. Yes. Oh, I died. Okay. Um, My turn. Why'd that fall down? He, if he seems grumpy today, I don't mean James. The cat? I mean the cat. I'm not grumpy. Yeah. Um, Good mood today. We order their pet food, oh. their wet food, but it hasn't arrived yet, so they're stuck eating Should dry food. I've never seen a cat <laughs> so un so angry at me in my life. When we put dry food down for lunch, There's no enemies. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. He started crying. He yeah. was like looking at the dish and looking at us like, uh, no. It's like, what is this? What the hell are you giving me? <laughs> one. I got one. Poor cats. You know, first cat world problems. That's right. Yeah. It's like, at least I haven't asked him to, like, go out and hunt for his own dinner. Wow. So. You would think. You would think I asked him to do that. Yeah. Oh, he'd probably like to do that. He probably would. <laughs> <laughs> like, please? Good night, D-Train. Uh, do the PF guys at the bottom move around on harder modes? No, oh. but that would be kind of interesting. Would that... They could be like the spiky that guys in that game um, that we played last. That's a good suggestion. Yeah. 
that they shift a be, little. Be, and kind of dodge your yeah. bullets. So you have to kind of um, anticipate movements. Would you be able to do that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they'd move in four pixel um, chunks. Chunks. Though, like which is chunk. fine, you know? Yeah. Oh, oh this is it much is harder. harder. This is actually a much better challenge. Mm -hmm. On easy, I, I I find it too easy, like fifty two points. Mm. That's a bit. It was a it, bit excessive. It, it um. But good for beginners who want to. Uh, well, you have start to get playing. used to the physics of it, so it's yeah. good. You and yeah, the faster bullets are definitely harder to dodge. I've noticed there's sometimes ah. <laughs> a bit of a wait. Like I assume it's random where they show up and when they show Very up. Very random. Yeah. But sometimes you end up there's a blank screen for oh a while yeah. before another one comes up. So um, yeah, it must be could... just something to do with the algorithm of 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 the randomness of them and the bullets up. too like there was a lull there and now they're mm -hmm. like going nuts yeah i like that i like that it's not predictable it's nothing yeah. worse than like knowing yeah. exactly when things are going to come forth come true. up and um but yeah sometimes you do ah. have that blank screen. Ah. oh he shot just as you hovered over top of him i got eight one more Nothing. Nothing on the screen. I don't understand Crossbow's uh, message. Says, Read it out oh, wow, phonetically. We got then. boomers outside the tower. If it gets too bad, I might have to shut down. Boomers. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing lightning. Oh. Boomers? I don't know. I Unless do you're referring to baby boomers. <laughs> There's know. baby boomers outside. Yeah. Oh my god. God help us all. Um, They're buying all our houses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all their savings. Damn them and their savings. And oh, thank you for subscribing. Ricardo Pim, yay! Ricardo Pim. Thank you for subscribing. Thunder and lightning. Oh, that's gotcha. what I thought. Boomers. Nothing else made sense that he'd have to shut down because of anything else. They just want to show you their classic cars. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, boomers. Get off my lawn. <laughs> With your shiny chrome wheels. Whoa. It gets, it's very random. It can get crazy, but then there's like yeah. a lot of lulls sometimes. Yeah. But you do want to keep those numbers down because oh, the yeah. more there are, the more they shoot. Oh, it does get crazy. Okay. 20. Good job. Good job. Yep. I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Okay. Let's dive into QR codes. Um, now this came about um initially because thomas yanch wanted to know more about the qr code generation in circus convoy and how to how to do it mm. like how to generate yeah not just static qr codes no but but dynamic based ones. based on yeah. data yeah um so i was looking up qr codes okay. um it stands for quick response code. I have ne never heard that before. You didn't know that was the acronym. No. Um, did you know that? No, I, I don't bet think a lot so. of people don't know that it yeah. stands for quick response code. It was uh, created in 1994, 1994. Uh, for the automotive industry in Japan. Okay. So I guess makes sense. you know for labeling and going doot 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 that yep. kind of stuff. Um, so let's take a look at some information about it. Uh, there are four different types of characters or information you can store, four mm -hmm. different ways you can store. Uh, numbers, uh, 0 through 9. Alphanumeric, 0 through 9, A through Z, space, some, num some symbols. Symbols, yeah. Uh, binary as well, um, using that ISO. There we go. I don't know. Uh, and uh, kanji or kana. And uh, each of those uses a different number of bits per character. Three and a third bits per character. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. That's very compressed. Mm -hmm. um, so each of them uses up a different... Here's some code. How uh, can QR you have a third of a bits? Over time. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing. So some have not a, a whole number of bits associated uh, to the character? Well, you would need... So 10. You'd have 10 bits per three characters. I'm guessing that's how it kind of stores it in groups. 
know. It's not the two bits for one character and three for another, so on average it's Maybe three and a third. Maybe that could be it, yeah. So here's some examples. Uh, Just a wondering where a third of a bit comes from. <laughs> yeah, if somebody wants to answer that, that would be... Uh, oh, that's crazy size, because I was resizing things. Mm. Uh, one extra bit every three groups. There you go. Every three groups, okay. Yeah. My guess. Okay. <laughs> well, that's now. Yeah. Uh, 21 by 21. So there's different sizes um, uh, as the versions went up. Version 1, version 2, version 3, version 4, 33 by 33, mm. version 10. I was able to scan up to uh, wow. this one, version 25. From your phone, you mean? From my tablet. Wow. This one. I wasn't able to, even though wow. it's, it says it's 177 by 177, it's, Seems... I think it's more dense Yeah. because it's much more dense. Uh, three digit number can, can be, be stored, stored in 10 bits. Okay. Oh, so it's groups of three. Gotcha. Stored in 10 bits. Okay. So you can't, so if you wanted to store a that zero, it would be zero, zero, zero. Rather than just a single zero, you have to store it in three, um, digits right um and okay so there's different uh sizes i could probably fit a whole 2600 game in one of those bigger codes <laughs> you I, probably could they did actually did there, they really? there was a project and you can look at it in the atari age forums as oh, well wow. where somebody had a whole uh you could store 2k on one side 2k 2600 game on one side and for the 4K games, they had it stored on two sides. Oh, my God. And they had a QR code reader that would interface directly with the 2600. So. And so it it was a Raspberry Pi that took a picture of it. What? And then interfaced with the 2600. And you would turn it around for the other 2K. That's amazing. And it was really cool because they made it look like a cartridge and had the name of the game at the top. Um, the Raspberry Pi. They made the Raspberry Pi look like a cartridge. No, no, no. The the code, the cards, the cards. Oh, the cards like that cartridge. you're scanning. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, that is so cool. Let me look it up because I I was gonna put this in my notes, but I forgot about oh. to put that in the notes. QR Atari twenty six hundred. When was that? Yeah. Uh, a couple of years ago. Oh. I that is I, so cool. I think I did so, talk about it. Screw carts. Just get the Raspberry Pi and just put all your, all well, 2K, 4K games, I guess. Can't go much higher than that. So Look at that. Here we go. <gasps> so Stampede, Fishing Derby. Shut up. So there is the actual, I mean, it's all blurry there, but there's some in-focus ones. Yeah. And there's a Raspberry Pi that would Do read it. Scan? Actually, I don't think it interfaced with an actual 2600. You played it on the Pi. Oh, you played it on the Pi. Yeah. Okay, that would, I mean, there we go. that's Runs probably easier. on a Raspberry Pi yeah. plus Pi camera. Uh, standard mm. HDMI out for the ass. Yeah. So he didn't interface. That would be cool. Mm. If somebody made a reader for the 2600 that, that also played those. Because the uh, Game Boy had one where it had a, um, but it wasn't a QR code. It was a mag stripe okay. that had games on the mag stripe and you would you go like this and bigger games had multiple cards that you would swipe in. Um, so that was, that was really, really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, that's getting off track. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's the opposite of what we're doing here today. Yeah. <laughs> um, and there's error cool. correction built into it. It's like the inverse of what you're doing. Today. Yeah. Total inverse. You're having the, the game create the QR code instead of the QR code create the game. That's right. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to get into how they store the information, like how it's encoded it's and stuff. It's interesting, yeah. It yeah. is interesting, but um, there's different, there's basic things you need, like those things, those squares in the corners for positioning, so it knows which way is up, mm. um, because one corner does not have one of those squares, these uh, squares, mm -hmm. so it knows this way is up. And then it has... Um, Let's see, uh, error correction, different mask patterns, uh, what was it? Oh, here it is, there you go. There's, that needs to be there, that needs to be there, that needs to be there. You need some white space around it as well mm -hmm. so it knows where the outer edge is. I think it's two pixels of white space. Uh, then there's a bunch of other stuff that I'm not gonna go into. 
This is how you store the data in a, I don't know what size this is, and it's not coming up. There we go. So it goes like, where is it? It goes like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like that. That's how it stores the data in that pattern. And there's parts where there is no data. Uh, okay. I'm not going to get too, mar too far into QR codes. That's not what we're doing. But uh, the first game to use QR codes, mm -hmm. a 2600 game, was The Stacks, which we have played. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, that was made by Mike Mika and Kevin Wilson. Mm. Um, and you can't just go, you can't just show it. You have to play the game. So I'm just going to mm. show a video of it. Okay. Um, oh, one second. Let's go to full screen here. And this is queued up, I don't get the audio, queued up just before the QR code comes on the screen. And I'll pause it when it does come on. So there is the QR code. Oh, that doesn't look good. That looks better. So everybody get out your QR code readers. <laughs> and I'm using binary eye. And that I was able to get it. It's like that big Yeah. where we're seeing it. And this says, um, Greg, no. Greg or Gre gregariousgames.com. It's mm. all like mm. multiple rows. Mm. Um, so this one used a 25 by 25 grid and it resulted in a 26 character QR code. And uh, that's just the web page. Uh, yes. And yeah. it, and it had HTTP colon slash slash gregariousgames.com. Yeah. It had all that information and then your QR code reader would know that's a URL. Yes. You can open it in the associated program. It's funny because, and I, I this is just an aside, but QR codes kind of were a thing and you saw them everywhere and they kind of died out. And now yes. with the pandemic, uh, that, yeah. all the restaurants are using QR codes for you to scan to get their menus. And I, it's a, it this a weird thing comeback. where I actually deleted my the QR code reader on my phone. So did I. Because I'm like, I'm not using it. Why do I need it? It's taking up space. And yeah. I had to reinstall one. <laughs> so and you I. were in the same same boat because yeah. they just kind of, they were a thing and they were kind of new and neat. And then and they kind of died them, off. Some people use them, but not many. Yeah. yeah. And so it's kind of interesting that they've kind of made a bit of a resurgence. Yeah. And yeah. it's super handy to be able yeah. to go through a menu on your phone you can do searches and just and, quickly scan it and there's yeah. links yeah, yeah. It's, it's way way better and you don't have but it's just interesting dirty menus that you have to deal with well either. are are they ever going to go back to menus probably not why, why would, would they, they print and laminate and do yeah. whatever they need to do when people are are now used to just looking at oh, the menu on their it's phone it's cleaner like your table isn't cluttered with yeah. 50 menus and we're all yeah. sitting there staring at our phones yes. anyway iPhones do have a built-in reader uh, in their camera yeah Androids some, download, some Androids do not some yeah like the, the ones we have do not I think uh, Samsung and some of those probably have them built in but yeah. we just have and the one I have if you have Android I highly recommend binary eye it has no ads it's totally free it is instant it will get any QR code they should be paying like you for you to say I'm, that on there <laughs> I don't know. I just love it. It's so fast. Yeah. Like it's you just stuff. show it and it's like, even while it's blurry, it's getting it. Yeah. And it's I'm amazing. To, it, yeah. can, it can scan that well. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, very fast. Um, the second, uh, well, not the second, um, Penalt is going to have a QR code at the end of the game. Mm. We haven't made it to the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, you, uh, and no, it's not out yet. So, the, there's no screen cap of it, mm. so I don't know how big it is, but um, Carl G is working on it. Um, so I read read that on a post we'll that there. he had because I was searching QR yeah. codes on yeah. yeah the Atari Age forums. Um, then uh, Circus Convoy mm. has a actually we'll go we'll talk about Hellway first. Hellway is a QR code. Hellway. Yes, and you remember playing that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can grab the joystick. Just reading all the QR code. Many places reduce their menu offerings, in fact, to make the menu smaller. That is true too, and sometimes that's better. It is. Because sometimes places have way too many offer, uh, too many options. Yeah, they do. It's better to concentrate on make things good rather than make a lot of things bad. 
So if you guys want to try this one, this one is a uh, 25 by 25 mm -hmm. grid, uh, which results in a 20 character QR code, which goes to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash GIT dot IO mm -hmm. um, upper forward slash uppercase J Y zero zero V. Um, and I will show you how quick it gets it. Okay. <laughs> you really like that app. Done. <laughs> That's how quick it is. Um, and it says error correction level Q. And there's different error correction levels, mm -hmm. um, which is like redundancy built into it. Uh, which does reduce the number of characters you can use, mm. but it makes it better if your reader's bad or the thing you're reading off it off is bad as well. Um, so Hellway uses one. And Circus Convoy uses several in mm. different ways. So let's take a look at Circus Convoys. Ah. Loud ready. One second. Um, so there are a number of them. Uh, if you go to play, up, uh, press down. Oh, oh in wait, the first screen? wait, online guide. Wait, wait, stop. There. There. Online guide. Yeah, you have to go to the okay. system. So this one is um, a 21 by 21, <laughs> and it has a, all of them are 21 by 21 in yeah. uh, Circus Convoy. So this is the only 21 by 21 I'm gonna be showing tonight. Uh, and this results in either a 12 or 17 character QR code. This one is a 12 mm -hmm. long, and it goes to their general guide. Okay. Uh, at adgm.us forward slash gg01 and they don't put the http um i guess well, they, you don't need that you yeah. don't really need it it's yeah. kind of extraneous it is yeah um so i'll show where it goes to one second oh s ramirez have a oh. good night just got binary eye and it does indeed work well yeah oh yes yeah. it's so fast uh so there that's what it goes to i mean i don't know why i'm showing i don't know why i'm showing well, no it just it but just... it goes to their game guide yes yeah. yeah so that's that's a use for it i mean the other one went to the development page uh the stacks goes mm. to just a their general web page this yeah. goes to a guide that's what they're using it for here well there's there's something uh-oh uh-oh battery power well just leave it ah, then ah. uh you're pressing lots of stuff there i know uh Okay, hold on. Let me just um, get something to plug this in. Keep talking. Okay. Keep talking. Then uh, they have, on the first sideshow of their game, I'm just going to play it very briefly so that we can get to the first sideshow. Um... Because they have context sensitive, depending on where you are in the game, it will give you different guides. Oh, it didn't open it up. Anyway, anyway, I'm not going to do that then. Uh, I'm taking too long. <laughs> to the first side show? That's quite yeah, to the first side show. It is it not a short distance. Yeah, it's not. So. Uh, what it does is goes to a context sensitive page that shows off how to play that page, which is that uh, that sideshow right there. So sideshow game guide homage to Pitfall. So blah 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 blah, and it shows off that. And this one is 17 characters long. And now there's two other uses they have, which are not static. These are static ones. There is a login, which takes your uh, number uh, of your cartridge and encodes it. 
Um, and it's adgm.us forward slash question mark s equals, and then there's five characters, uh, upper and lowercase letters. And uh, that takes you to the login page. Um, this is for when you're registering your high score. So it takes your unique code, your unique ID number from the cartridge because each ROM is its own separate ROM. It's unique to you. So it takes that and um, I don't know the internals, but it, it doesn't just take your number. Okay. It somehow encodes your number with your high score somehow and then you scan in a second one which has your time and your score so you get well. two qr codes yeah and that one is 17 characters long and it's a mix of uppercase and lowercase with no url mm. because you're already logged in so you're just punching in your information and that's encoded somehow so you can't you know mess with it mm -hmm. um and then Revenge made a QR code display for the 7800 recently. So let's take a look at that. I'll switch over to the 7800 version. Boom. Boom. So there is Revenges. I'm going to load that one up. Did that flicker? Boom. Um, and it points back to the topic of QR code generation. This is where mm -hmm. uh, these games are... Oh, not these games. These programs are posted. So there, scan that in and it'll take you to the Atari Age Forum. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is quite long. Did I count it? Let's see. No, I did not count it. Um, but it is uh, 52 characters. Mm. And it is, I believe, 25 by 25 as well. Error correction uh, level L, so he's able to have a lot more characters, but less error correction. Uh, and then, now, let's take a look at the different trade-offs that you can have with error correction. Right here. So that one was le error correction level L on a 20, oh, hello, 25 by 25. <laughs> and he has actually a lot more room. He could have up to 77 wow. uh, characters and he used 52. Wow. Um, he could even implement uh, error correction level uh, M on that one. Um, so, and he used, uh, oh, that's numeric, alphanumeric. Oh, what, which one did he use? Maybe he didn't have the HTTP, but here's the chart. So depending mm. on how big the dots you want and the error correction level and what you want to encode, you pick what QR code you want and how you're gonna make it. And there are online places to uh, help you make QR codes as well you just punch in your url and it'll spit out the qr code but of course if you want to put it on a 2600 you, you have to make the program to make to display it yeah yeah uh okay and Hi. they can get pretty elaborate as you can see there ah nikola tesla very yeah. nice and even that don't oh my god that cat does that all the time <laughs> rubs his face on my full glass of water that's sitting over so much electronics <laughs> and i am able to actually that scan cat. that that uh that one right there that is i want to see if really I can scan cool yeah that is really cool no 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 uh no it's it's sideways no. so maybe there there nice so even that so tiny mm. and that goes to dota 2 hero invoker mm. yeah. worked for me metaluna had to hold it sideways that's true mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it knows the orientation of it it mm. doesn't have to be that way up mm. uh, my barcode scanner was able to stand this takes mm. you to the dota page you are correct mm -hmm. okay now we're gonna get to thomas's which is not a static okay 
Um, not a static. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a static QR code. Most of the ones I've shown you are static, okay. except for the Circus Convoy. Okay. Um, so, Pop and Thomas's. Ready. Oh, I should have had the QR code graphics up the whole time. That's okay. They're up now. Switch over to 2600. If you want to get the joystick, please. There we go. One at the bottom? Uh, yes. Oh. So, uh, Thomas's QR code generator is a 25 by 25. Um, and it has variable length. He has a bunch of different uh, things that come up. Okay. Um, that uh, you can scan in. So, let's just scan this one right now. And I was able to do it from here. It says 1996 Stella mailing list. Hmm. So if you press the button. That one says 2021 Vroom. And Vroom is one of Thomas's games. Ah, nice. Press it again. 2002 Thrust Plus Platinum. Another one of his games. Nice. Um, one more. Oops. 2017 Zero Page Homebrew. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, he has posted the code for this on GitHub. Okay. If you guys want to check out and compile it yourself, or even um, translate it into another 6502 platform, put it on the NES. I don't know. Um, this project provides a simple QR code generator for the 650X family. The code is mostly specifically tailored for the Atari 2600, obviously a display code, and a version two QR code, which is 25 by 25 that we've learned. Mm -hmm. Version one is 21 by 21. Other platforms or other QR code versions have not been tested, but it should be adaptable without uh, two major problems, too many major problems. If you make use of my code or have questions, please let me know. Features, easy to use DASM macros, uh, assembler switches to tailor generator to your need. Code size optimized for minimal RAM and ROM space. It doesn't say how much he uses. Uh, all eight mask patterns supported. Atari 2600 demo code. Randomly generates some Atari 2600 related messages. <laughs> uh, generator code for Reed Solomon ECC generator polygons accompanied can be integrated to compute on the fly. Um, and you can take a look at his code right there. Limitations. Only small, single block QR codes supported and that is a bit smaller yeah. and i'm guessing he is using um well he is using uh player characters instead of the other ones which look like they're using play field because they're just big huge ones uh only byte mode supported uh no automatic mask pattern evaluation not sure what that means tested only for version 2 qr codes 25 by 25 uh this is the limitations memory organization and pixel checking Drawing has to be implemented, platform specific, and this includes finder, alignment, and timing pattern. So, very cool, very interesting. Um, and so he has made one that has can uh, have a lot of characters, 26 character code. Um, let me just see. I have some more information about that. Because um, he was trying to make one so that everybody can implement it in their own programs. In their own programs, yeah. Based off of data from within the games. That so it takes the data, turns it into a QR code. Yes. And, and that's then it really confused. what you need. Yeah. Right? So you just make any j data you want, whether it's high scores, whether it's a URL. And now you have a way to put it on the screen. And this is a 4K um, program, so it's easily implementable mm. in one bank. Mm. So there you go. I'm not sure how much ROM or how much RAM this takes up because you would also have to take that into account if your game uses a ton of memory uh, that you would have to 
have enough room to take like your score or your character name or something else. Mm. So there you go. <laughs> Just thought I would show that on the show. Is it, uh, seriously, I think I'm using it, uh, think of adding it to my work in play penalt to be able to use, dump some diagnostic information to the screen in an easy way. Oh. That's interesting. So you can be playing and scan. It's like, what is in memory? What are the things that I'm looking for? Um, instead of having a dis like a character display on the top of the screen, like you just press a, a key or... Or go How, into a menu and it just goes... Bleh. Yeah. How cool would it be to have QR codes that give you story or background details to the game you're playing? Oh my goodness, yes. So you're playing a game and now you're on a quest and you scan the QR code and it gives you a synopsis of the quest you're playing. That's really good for like, especially 2600 games that have very limited way of displaying text. Yeah. So so you you get your text off your off your tablet or phone yeah. and you're playing the game and you're go, you're blip. you're creating story yep. in a way outside of the game you're playing. There's a danger to that. Yes. Well, it's not quite a 2600 game at that point, but Well, no. No, no in it's a still way. Fine. Yeah. Still fine. It's like having yeah. a manual and say turn to page 21. Yeah. But yeah. it's going to point to a website. Now is that website's going to be maintained forever. That's dangerous. Um, it can also website... be characters, though. Can't it be? Can it, it be text? Can. Oh, is that what you're saying? Well, it could be either. It, it can. It can be limited text. But yeah. It could be text. It could be... I don't know if that'd be a space-saving method, really. I don't know. No, the you're prob probably right. The problem is You probably text, want it to link to a website. Because the text would have to be on the cartridge yeah. to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're yeah. absolutely right. I mean, it's yeah. a good idea because displaying text but is difficult. I was more thinking of going to a website, but you yeah. you are right because things have to be maintained. I mean, things websites tend to be maintained for a fair while, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could put something up on archive.org, which seems to be pretty impenetrable. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't put it up on Wikipedia or something because no. anybody can alter oh, it. Oh God, no, no. If you put it up on like your own website, yeah. Are you going to maintain that website for the next? Games are now forty. 42 years old 40 how old is it to hurry 26 anyway 40 years 20 yeah. years even no, five no, you're absolutely right because yeah. there's lots of dead links in the atari age forums and oh yeah like, okay <laughs> gotta go to archive.org yeah, and, dead links. and i'm, look I'm it sure up. my geo cities page that i created back in 1990 <laughs> oh i want to look uh, that up what's the eight. url no <laughs> <laughs> uh is long gone now but, um, uh, no, I know what you're saying. Cute. I know what you're saying. Yeah. No, I created it for actually a course I was taking. It's a long yeah. story. But, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, yeah. Carl G says, Cute, uh, cool idea. I'm looking out for a way to create Atari Choose Your Own Adventure game. Yeah, there's only that one drawback. Mm. Is, is longevity of data storage, mm -hmm. right? Um, but... You know, if you're but, but dedicated it's interesting. To it. There's all kinds of things you could possibly do with QR codes in games. You and, could, and yeah. you know, it, ex it expands. So far, we have manuals. Yeah. And high score. Yeah. Um, saving. Um, that's it, <laughs> I think. But expanding and actually integrating the game into mm -hmm. the QR code would be very interesting. Mm -hmm. Um. That's, that's really good. Really cool. Okay, so let's get back to gaming. And you guys can investigate that further on the forums. Mm -hmm. I know you, you've said a lot of people are talking about it right now since Audacity Games put that in, in, um, in their Circus game. Convoy. Yeah, and for various yeah. uses. And so it's cool. sparked, sparked ideas yeah. in other people, obviously. Because, yeah. um, you know, Hellway implemented it and, um, and other, and looks like uh, Carl G is going to put it in Penalt. Probably for a message at the end of the game, or I don't know. I don't know what he's using it for. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. But he's already got text in his game, so I don't know. Or even... To I win mean, a prize. The first person... Because that's a good way to do it. Oh, and th that's And true. that's kind of what they used it for in Ready Player... Diagnostic. The, the stacks. <laughs> yeah. For the stacks. Yeah. Um, I think it was congratulations you won no you won. it went to a website so yeah but i think that website was unknown before yeah people played it right? yeah 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 so if you put it in for like a limited offer things like mm -hmm. the first person to get that code 
and it'll come up on their screen and then it says email me at blah to get your prize or your patch or whatever mm. that would be a good way to do it yeah oh he's just carl's just just using it for diagnostic info yeah yeah no Not, but but yeah Oh, so testers could send me a screenshot if there's a problem. Oh. That's that's really that's good. That's smart, yeah. Because you don't know what's going on on that person's specific machine. Mm -hmm. Especially in, you know, a memory information or something. Yeah, that's really smart. Mm -hmm. Digital patch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Um, it links to a picture. To a, pa a picture of a patch for people yeah. who don't mm -hmm. want to actually send out <laughs> actual patches. Yeah. But that's, uh, yeah, that's very cool. So there's, there's a whole world of things you could do. Yes. And it's kind of a link between the physical and, and, and the, the internet. And the internet, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so the next game we're going to play is Kung Fu Combat 2, the sequel, mm -hmm. uh, by Edward Smith uh, and Kevin Mosley, who's working on the graphics for it. He first posted this on February 18th, and uh, this build we're playing is... An exclusive build actually <laughs> that he just sent to me uh, today so this is brand new updated so let's reboot the 2600 and jump into that and I've got a whole bunch of instructions okay but there's a nice um, test level or a practice level that you can start on oh good <laughs> that, we, that you don't have to get too stressed about um, so load that up and uh, uh, E.A. Smith, Edward Smith, has made a ton of games. No, pause for a second. This is beautiful. Do not press. Right, right. Looking at this right, right away. It is. Look at that. Look at the shore. Look at the the waves. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Um, I love it. Animated, <laughs> it's so animated great. water. Huge sprites made yeah. by the playfield. Yeah. A smart use of of the player characters to to spell out the name mm -hmm. of the game going down the screen with overlaid one on top of the other with the two it's just absolutely gorgeous and the rocks at the bottom mm -hmm. it when he posted this uh game in the forums i, I was blown away by the screenshots like mm -hmm. this is this is great and there's multiple levels and each level has a, a, a look just like this which is very reminiscent of like tekken and all those games where they always put you in an environment in the yes. background like even though it's just two characters fighting yeah there's always some really cool background to those games to make it very oh, yeah. clear you're in a different environment a different area yeah. place yeah. country part of the world and yeah and each had different music like it's it's very um specific to that style of fighting game which is yeah. really cool but this is beautiful just looking at i could look at this all day it's lovely look at that switches <laughs> um <laughs> so the story i'm just going to get you to go to a specific level which is a practice level do you want me to read a new play uh no have you tried it yet no okay oh barely 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 okay um we're gonna play game five which is a skill challenge game. Okay. Uh, it says, how many out of the 99 missiles can you deflect without being hit by three? So that will give you a chance to try the moves and understand how the moves work without okay. um, an opponent kicking your ass. Say that again. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, We're going to set you to a practice level. Okay. Yeah. yeah where yeah. there's things flying at your head. Okay, and you're just hitting things. Yeah, and okay. you have to you have to defend yourself, and All I right. think that's a good way to do it. But I'm going to give you um, some basics. Okay. Um, so to change direction, the most important one to change direction, you press down. Down. So it changes Flip. which way you're facing. Left, right. Yeah. Okay. Um, up. Jumps up. Mm -hmm. uh, jump kick forward is diagonal up in the direction you're facing. Mm -hmm. uh, punch is button and forward. Uh, high kick, button up or diagonal up. Button plus diagonal up. Uh, low kick is button and down or button and diagonal down. Okay. Walk left is left. Walk right is right. Right, okay. Yeah. So those are, you can do uh, just a punch, high kick, low kick, or jump kick forward. 
Actually, we may have, want to set it to two players, so you can just move around and do kicking first. Yeah, that's fine. Just put me yeah. on practice level. That's fine. If well, I there's die, things... I die. That's well, there's... what happens. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to game five. That's just what happens. Oh, I know. Oh, nope. That just resets. Okay. Press the button. Yay! Oh, oh what is around. it down? Oh, geez, that's... goodness oh that's out oh it hit me in the head <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow no. that's a short level oh no it resets let's just go to, <laughs> let's just go to a two-player okay okay there you go now you can move around so okay, down Another down beautiful screen oh i'm gonna hate this i can tell you right now so <laughs> okay so i'll tell you the story jumping jumping so how what's kicking uh up and diagonal is a forward kick up up and diagonal it's no not, that's up that's a forward oh i see it's not really a kick it's uh, just a it's jump a kick. it's a jump it says jump kick forward is it try it when you're close to him that's yeah. a punch up and diagonal oh so wait that was down and button I'm not sure okay. I like the the controls of this so much, but um, ooh, let's this practice is your punch. Complicated. Let's practice your punch. Button and forward. There you go. So it's button then forward. Yeah, going oh, forward. Okay. Going forward moves you. There you go. Now okay. you punch him. Uh, high kick is button and up. Oh. Button and down. Okay, this oh, is much go. easier. Much easier. Okay, you hold the button. Uh, yeah, that. And then if you want to jump, then you go woo woo, <laughs> diagonal back. Yeah, and then down turns you around, because you can warp. You can go right around the screen. So go to the left there, so you can wrap around the screen, and surprise them from that side. Diagonal, I have a trouble trouble with. I don't know what it is. There we go. Yeah. Kevin Moss says the hardest part to get used to is holding the button before the direction. Uh, I think that is the key. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty natural. Yeah, it's the button. That's what I was trying to figure out. It's the button. <laughs> so Kevin, you hold it, and then you're okay. You're so punching. So Kevin, Kevin Mosley is the guy who oh, did the hi, graphics. Kevin Mosley. Excellent job. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Look at look at that ship. Yeah. Look at that. And done just with playfield graphics. See if you make them big enough. You can, uh, you can, and that's reflected too. So that's exactly the same left and right. Cat, you want the bag? There, I'm going to go back. <laughs> okay, so let's you, let's get you fighting somebody. Somebody, is it two player? Uh, nope. Oh, just one player now because I have a, I have a lot to read. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> cat, um, look at this cat. This cat so is cat. is walking in front of our screen. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Get down, silly kitty. Okay. I hope you can make it to the later levels. Uh probably not. Good luck, Good luck to <laughs> I'll us. I'll leave that to him if it's not working out with me. <laughs> Japan, night eighteen fifty six. Your betrothed. You can start it. Your betrothed sweetheart, the beautiful Princess Hannah. Oh. Oh. What? what Level selection screen. Oh, we only saw that for a few seconds. One second. Oh. Tanya likes pressing buttons. No, I, I wasn't sure what was going look on. Look at the gorgeous graphics. Yeah. Okay, press the button. Which button? So, it has a one on the ship. There's a. <gasps> does it automatically start or do yeah. you press the button? No, I, I didn't press a button. Oh. Okay, well, we'll see it again. Uh, your betrothed sweetheart, the beautiful Princess Hannah, has been captured by the evil martial arts master Aku, whose romantic advances she once spurned. She is being held prisoner inside his compound in the island of Shima. Ah, I'm dying. As an, as an accomplished fighter yourself, you resolve to sail to the island and rescue Hannah from the clutches of Aku. So that, that, that's your ship. Oh, God, I'm dying. But beware, Aku has fighters who will try and stop you. You must defeat them. Also, deflect the obstacles. They will hurl at you along the way. Once, oh once God. you make it to a coup's 
dojo. Oh my God, look at that. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. You're, you've been captured. I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> it's beautiful. Fire, two frame look animation of fire and the cracked walls. Oh, I love it. Amazing. That's amazing. Even though this is going to be challenging. <laughs> And there's some trees and a bunch of buildings and a... Oh, it, no, I didn't do that. I didn't touch it anything. It just starts. It just starts. That's too bad because you only get to see it for like a few seconds. Um, once you make it to a Aku's dojo, you must square off against him. Only after defeating him can you and your beloved Hannah live happily ever after. Are you skilled enough to save her? Or will you, too, end up prisoner in Aku's dungeon? So you're the white bar. I know, I'm doing terribly. And here's the yellow bar, or the orange. Oh, you're tied. No, for now. You can do it. Engage in this camp campaign to f save the beautiful Hannah. Fight head-to-head -head against a human opponent in two-player mode, or hone your skills in practice mode. Console switches. Select. Got that one. Reset. Yeah. TV type. Games 1 and 2 pauses the game by going to the map view. Okay. So we can actually go to the map view at any time. Oh, oh you're beating him. You I'm can getting... do it. No, I'm dying. No, you're beating him. Right now, you're beating him. Oh, now it's tied. Difficulty switches. Quick roll of thumb. Both A, hardest. Both B, easiest. So you are set to easiest right now. Oh, my God. Oh. This is not easy. You're, you're <laughs> this is there. not easy. You're getting Ooh, there. Ooh, this is not easy. So let's see the map screen after you start playing. Okay. Oh, oh! So you can actually switch to the map screen anytime you like. Don't press anything. Okay. So there's a whale there. Okay. Um, putting water in the air with the flappy tail. Ooh. Very cute. Mhm. Mm there's animated river coming from um, that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. Big pile of dirt. Mm -hmm. With some mountains, I guess. Mountains with uh, green on the top. There's like a temple there. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, what are those called? Gates? There's the big one and the small one. The big one. red gates, yeah. Yep. Paths all over the place. Some trees, more trees. So beautiful. Okay, there you go. Kick his ass. Oh, oh you start with so much more uh, energy. Oh, no. well, you'll do better this time. No, I don't think so. Because you were kind of tying him for a while. Oh, you're getting him, you're getting him. Okay, uh, title screen option, yep, yep, we know that, we know that. Game one, fighters do not reset to starting position after score, continuous fighting. Game two, fighters reset to starting position after score. I think this is a better way, so it's continu ah! continuous. Kicking his ass, nice. Marco Johannes says, map screen is incredible too. Wow, so much going on there. Oh, yeah. The title screen is amazing. Even for an NES, that could be impressive. Yeah. Mirrored play field, the ship looks pretty weird. <laughs> pretty but weird, Vitoko says. Yeah, it looks looks amazing for mirrored, mirrored uh, graphics. I didn't even realize it at first it was mirrored. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Getting your head kicked in from behind. <laughs> A little bit more, a little bit more. Nice, a little bit more. Oh, ow, my ankles. <laughs> okay. Stages one, three, five, and seven are fight stages. You must defeat the opponent before you are defeated. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Fighter strength is indicated by the strength bar at the top, yeah. Stages 2, 4, and 6 are obstacle stages. You must block 20 missiles that are hurled at you by Aku's henchmen. Oh, you're so close. If you're hit by three obstacles, the game ends. If you defeat Aku in stage 7, you will rescue the princess. Okay, I see. So the next stage is you're going to be uh, up against uh, obstacles. Did it. It should pause there. 
Just a just a note. Okay, get ready. Kick high. Ah! Kick high. Ah! Or duck. Oh, that's a good way to do it. Okay. Oh. oh my god, this is so hard. Ah! Oh, oh, this no. is so hard. There's a snake in the tree. Oh, that's beautiful. Do you want to practice that level? No, you can play. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I have to run. Okay. I'll be right back. Um, try around and then I'll read. Uh, what? Oh, look at that. Oh, what was that? There we go. By E. A. By e. Smith and K. Mosley. There you go. You press down on the title screen and you can see credits. That's awesome. So one is done by P0 and one's done by P1. That is amazing. So, yeah, it should pause after you win. Just for a second at least. Like, and play a little tune. Um, I wish you could go left and right from the title screen so you don't have to go up to the console to change the options. Which game you're going to play? Actually, yeah, I was going to practice. What was it? It's this one. Practice this because I'm going to get my ass kicked if I don't practice this. Oh. How do you duck? Maybe I'll just jump over all of them. Yeah. Okay. Punch. Ah. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Ah, oh, then I got to go up do it again. There we go. Kick. Ah, got to turn around. Punch. Ah. Ah. Oh, are you doing practice? Yeah, but I get up every time to sw and switch into it. Yeah, the um, practice is a little short. I almost feel oh, like that should be longer. But also, if it could, yeah. when you go back to the menu. After you die, yeah, it should remember what level you played, so you don't have to switch back. Because to mm. practice this over and over again, you have to switch, set it back. Ow. Oh. Good job. Ow. Look at that background. There's Gorgeous. like. Fireflies or lanterns? No lanterns in the tree. That's beautiful. Oh, it gets faster. Ah! Getting his top knot cut off by flying plates. Yep. Uh, yeah. Getting better. I think I'm almost ready. Beautiful backdrop. Beautiful. So you can let him attack and counter. Yeah, that's thanks, Kevin Most. Yeah, uh, that that's probably good helps. Idea. Yeah. Okay. Keep in mind that you're blocking by default. Oh. oh, so you open yourself up to attack. When you attack. Okay. okay. Good ah, to damn know. it. That's also very good to know. Good, to, good for you. You're doing ah, oh, damn it. That's high. High. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm ready because mm. I only have to do 20 mm. in the actual game. Okay. Where, would you want me to read? Yeah, if there's anything that I haven't covered. Oh, I, I don't I know because I was playing and not listening. So. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I wonder if I could just spam. Spam his leg. Sweep the leg. No. Get my ass kicked. Make it to stage three, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And that's my goal. I don't know if I can beat this guy though. Not doing so hot. How did, um, what's your tactic? Um, I would let him kind of go after me, and then I would hit him, like try to. Because mm. as Kevin Mo says, you block by default. So if he tries to hit oh, you, unless you're to your back. Yeah. So if you let him try and hit you, oh no, he does he does take something off of you. No, he does hit me. Yeah. I'm not blocking by default. Yeah. I'm gonna die. It's hard. It's hard. I'm not joking. This is <laughs> this is a hard game. Uh, I was very happy to pass that first level. Yeah. You're oh, not blocking by default. Beautiful. What is it? Shinto gates. Shinto. Shinto. Yes, Shinto I is think the. So. And you've got Shin the Shinto and Buddhist. Buddhist. Yeah. OK. 
Okay. One tactic is to get in close for a punch and alternate between punch and low kick until he moves away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's working. You almost got him. Very close. Yeah! Okay, Yay. now you have to do the punch... Yeah, I think I've practiced enough for that, so. It's all about holding the button, I think. Yes, it is. Because when you path. hit down... Oh, this is a different tree. Oh, my God. Oh, you can jump it. Oh, smart. I didn't do that on purpose, actually. No, but that's smart. You that's... can jump any of them, If you yeah. panic, because I panic all the time. Uh, <laughs> panic jump. Yeah, it's like, ah, just press up. Ow. Ow. Stage three. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. beautiful. Oh my God, the sunset and it's the temple. It's so nice. You don't want your back to him. I think that's the only thing. Kittens. He's just stepping in plastic. Hi. Hi. He's doing really well. Yes, he uh, is. He is. I don't know about really well. He's doing really well. Oh, what do you want? You want your bell? Are we going to distract James by... Bell games? Here. Yeah, it's it's not you have to kinda of go in and, and get him. Oh, here comes Pixel. Got him! Did you hear that? Pixel came running downstairs. Level four. Oh my god. I did. <laughs> Are you gonna hit the bell? Hit the bell. Ow. Okay, you're distracting me. Yep. Good job. Did you hear uh, it? Oh no! Ah, it's so deadly. Something's wrong with that bell. No, he's he's not hitting it's, it on the top. It's pushed down. Something's wrong with it. Oh, it's not. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. The visuals are definitely incredible. Is there a two-player mode as well? Yes, there is. Uh, one tactic is, uh, can you exploit the CPU when it goes from left to right? That's what I was trying to do. Like... Why is it not... Because it's... Can you check it out? It's broken. Like, there's it's something wrong with it. It's all pushed down. Like, it's sunk into the, uh, carpet. Try it. Good kitty. There you go. hard to tell when I've hit him or not as well. Who's that? I don't know. Press oh, raiding with a party of 11. Whoa, welcome wow. everyone. Oh, presto raid. Welcome Yay, everyone. Hey, thank you. We're playing Kung Fu Combat 2 on the Atari 2600. <laughs> it is a brand new game. And it has, Ooh, oh, smash in the head. Incredible graphics for a 2600 game. I don't know. Channel, oh my god. Ah, oh my god. plate to the head. Talking too much. It's okay. okay I'm going to play it one player once again. It's hard to find people playing Atari. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. 
This is a very unique channel. <laughs> it's not even just Atari. It's 2600 or 7800? 2600, my friend. Today. 2600. On Friday, we'll be playing a 7800. Piece. No, but I mean, this game is a 2600. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll give you food. And we're feeding cats. <laughs> if you're not here for the games, you can come here for the cats. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, Thank good you for kitty. following. Good kitty. What's the name okay. of the person following? Um. Ah. Geekzillion. Geekzillion. Geekzillion, welcome you, to the channel. Sir. Glad you enjoy 2600 games. Yeah. Or at least us. Or at least the cats. <laughs> oh my god. Face oh, me. oh. Yeah, don't let him hit you in the back. That's. Yeah, woo! Okay. Stage three. Sage two. two. Sorry. Look at that snake. Oh. <gasps> that snake wasn't there before, and there's like oh, the tree decoration is random between ah. the ivy vine and the snake and the birds. That's a. It's ah. so cool. I love very Activision-y um, sunset. sunset in the yes. background. I love that. Damn it! That's such a lovely. Aesthetic. Damn it! Oh. I have to concentrate a lot on that. It's way harder than the fighting. It it's it's a tough. This is a tough game. Yeah, it is. I want to I want to be very blunt. It's a tough game, but that's good. That's good. Kung Fu Combat Two. game is this? Kung Fu Combat 2. Kung Fu Combat 2. And I'm getting my ass handed to me. Oh my god. Nice joystick you have there. Yes. It's an Ed Ladin Super Twin 78. And it is the best joystick yep. for 2600 or 7800. Yes. And they offer amazing customizations. Oh no. Uh, so we have clear and amethyst. Um, Purple. Yeah. Yeah. Street Fighter Inspiration. I would say in all the other one-on-one -on -one fighter games. Yeah. Yeah. Any of the early fighting one-on-one -on -one games. Yeah. Karate Champ more. More like Karate Champ, but it's a single joystick um, input. Carl G put the development topic with downloadable ROM. Oh, thank you, Carl G. Yes, Presto PPC, this this channel is all Atari homebrew. Yep. All new games. All new games. Oh, you can kind of cheat on the shuriken arrow levels. Damn if it. you get nervous, you can just jump everything except for the ones you want to hit. Oh. Like the straightforward That's punches. So a good way to save yourself when you've already had two hits. Oh, oh. I guess you, get, you only get three hits. You okay. do. That's why I'm dying. Good to know. Are you developers? We are not. We just celebrate. But developers. a lot of the people in the chat are. <laughs> oh my god, I hit him for a while. I found a cheat. You found a cheat? Yeah, watch this. Look at that ship in the background. That's friggin' beautiful. Well, I was able to do a cheat. You do this. No, I, I was doing the same. Flipping back and forth from the sides actually gives you a bit of an uh, uh, advantage. <laughs> advantage. Yeah. Apparently I've had it too does. much wine. Yes. Because he is he's um, preoccupied with the other direction. Yes. He flips back and forth depending on which way, which side of him you're on. So you can flip back and hit him from behind. Works sometimes. Uh, yes. That's what I was doing. That's how I passed that level, is by staying on one side of him and... Yeah, good.
Good stuff. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try it again. So how many do you have to hit? I need absolute concentration. So Presto PPC, you rated us. What uh, kind of um, yeah, games you do you from? play? If you land a low kick, follow up with a punch. Punches are worth two hits. Mm. Uh, yeah, I was noticing the punches. Punches take it down more. Yeah. <laughs> Once you know you can jump, it's like dodge, dodge, dodge. Yeah, because I only need want to get it from one side, yeah, so I don't have to turn around. It's way easier. Yeah, that's true. We played another game that had very similar dynamics. We did. This. It might have been the first one that that was similar, and this has more of a map. Okay. Good luck to me. Kev, if I had any criticism. It's I wish you could hit the button to move on to the next stage so you can take a, a breath before you, you yeah. move on because it becomes really frantic. <laughs> and to just sit there and be able to look at the map. Yeah, yeah. I was playing Lords of the Realm 2. I used to play retro games and indie games from small studios, usually. Thanks for asking. No, we're happy you rated us. Thank yeah. you for, for joining our stream. This is the ultimate small studio games, by the way. <laughs> one person. One, two in this case, but yeah. usually it's one person. One or two people creating creating video games is kind of a cool thing. Get away from him. No, no. Protective. Oh, okay. no. We're going to play two player now. Are we? Okay. Um, actually, he sent this one specifically to me. Okay. And we can actually flip through some of the screens to see them. Oh, awesome. Let I would love just, to see uh, that. Yeah. Get that info. One second. When you start a level, the fight does not start until you move. Thank you. Okay, that's a, that's oh, a good tip. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Kevin Moe's 3. This is beautiful. Kevin, beautiful. I just, I have to say that. It looks absolutely gorgeous. We're in game number three, four, or six. <laughs> Two. Oh. So this is. Oh, you get to pick the level. Oh, There's look at that. Beautiful. Seen. Oh, waterfall. Look at that. That's stunning. That's gorgeous. So you get to pick three out of them, but you yeah. have to play to see the other ones. Okay. So. Are we going to play each other on this? Yeah. Are you on one end and I'm on the other? No, I'm going to get another drift. Oh, really? That's going to be too cramped, especially That's for a fighting game. That's if it was a bit true. more laid back, then it would be fine. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you for joining us, Presto PPC. Yeah. Yeah, he's having his dinner. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, we can play in this one. So, I am in the orange. And Tanya is in the white. Mm. Hit you in the back. Mm. throwing punches because we know there were double. <laughs> I'm 
just <laughs> hitting each other in the back. As married folks uh, commonly do. <laughs> Smack. <laughs> yeah. Also, I think you should be able to jump backwards in a... Oh! Like, you can jump forwards, but not jump backwards. I don't know if that would be a, a thing to do. To implement. <laughs> run! Run! <laughs> oh, you're getting me! Mm, yeah. When you do it too soon, then the other yeah. person can get you. Yeah. Oh. Double hit. Knocked you out. Very nice. Not only color rotation, but some pixels change in the play field. On on the um on the waterfall one? Yeah. Let's see. Yes, on the sides. You can see the water um, bouncing off. Mm. Let's play in that one. Okay, rematch. You want uh, um, an advantage? Me? No. No? Okay. Why, why, why would I want an advantage? You hit me. Come on. I'm right here. In the back. Oh. To die right now, that's, right now. That's unfair. <laughs> it is. If you're Why? if we're hitting each other and I constantly go down and you don't, then that doesn't make any sense. Why that gives you the why advantage. Why going down then? You should just stay up and punch me or jump but over. But it me. doesn't matter. You're hitting me. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What do you if mean? If you're hitting Explain up yourself. and I'm hitting down, and you constantly gain on me, then you have the advantage. Well, just run away then. I, I could be doing the same thing. So you hit me twice. Yes. So how come you can hit me twice? Because I hit you again running away when you're running away. If I'm hitting you and you're, I'm going down. Right? Yes. Oh, I see. I have the disadvantage. Well, now I'm not facing you. Hmm. I think I have a disadvantage. You might. That's all I'm saying. It doesn't quite make sense to me. Because we're facing each other equidistant, right? Yeah. Yet I'm hitting you over and over again. We should be going down equally. Hey, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need any every advantage I can get. Ah, see, <laughs> this, this, this I credit you with, that's fine. Yes. Ah! <laughs> like, that to me is you getting one up on me, which yes. is totally fine. But it looked like we were doing the same thing, yet I was the only one hitting. Yeah. yeah. And that to me isn't quite right, <laughs> right? It doesn't quite uh, balance out there. What is this? It looks beautiful. Andrew Davey did Way of the Exploding Fist on the NES. Oh, wow. Yeah, Andrew Davey's an old school programmer. Nice. Yeah, he did a lot nice. of games. Lots of games. Yeah, this is really, really great. It is hard, though. It is hard. It is hard. But I think I think uh, it's the kind of game that um, this you practice been, to get good at. This so. would have been totally mind-blowing in 1980. Oh, I joined yeah. a bit late. Is there any special hardware acceleration? No. This is using um, 32K F4. So, mm. no. I mean, other than a large amount of 
memory, mm. which would have been prohibitively expensive, ex <laughs> except in the latter part of the releases of the 2600. This could have this could have been made in in the 1980s. It has no hardware acceleration mm. whatsoever. Yeah. Um, you should try and play once more. Me? Yeah. Okay. Or I can play once more. It's nice to know you can pause. That's true. That's true. Looks like there should be an extra bit of space between the G and the F on the title. Oh, it's already gone. I'll take a look at it again when it's back. Well, this is even more impressive if just bank switching. Yeah, it's just straight up code. Impressive code. Very, very clever. And very big sprites, too. Really big sprites. And, well, kick the ass. <laughs> scared about A lot about of practice. Part. A lot of practice against me. And multicolor. Oh. How did he do it? He's using. I gotta look oh at the characters again. Oh my god! Again. I suck at this. I have to uh, practice this. What's the practice stage? Uh, five. Wait, 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 wait! I want to see what he says between the G and the F. No, it's the same, same amount of space. <laughs> Button clicks are super loud. Yeah. Sorry. Smack, smack, smack. Sorry. That's me. <laughs> wow. jump if you're scared yeah how long does it hold a kick for it's quite a while isn't it <laughs> thank you rendered ghost for subscribing three months in advance oh my god that's awesome wow thank you so much thank you so much for uh, watching and enjoying yeah Got one more game after this. I'm gonna oh, try he, once more. He mentioned so rendered ghosts. Yeah, please, you're doing better than I am. Oh, uh, not practice. I don't actually play. And we're actually playing on real hardware. Um, RGB modded uh, 2600. Andrew Davy. I used to work with a guy with a clicky keyboard. You could tell when he was angry. He was angry a lot. <laughs> I love clicky keyboards. And I also like to anger type, so I I anger love type. a like, I do touch type. Yes. I'm shocked by people who haven't learned how to touch type either. It's a good skill. It is a very good skill, but anger typing is is an ah, art form, ah. as far as I'm concerned. Uh, nice all. I bet the slipper of one player character done with the missile of the other player. Colors are swapped. Mm. Barely survived that. I did not have a good start. Yeah, crossbow. I like old school crossbow. clicky keyboards as well. This but my wife hates it. Otherwise, I would use my Model M. So the Model click, M was... Click, click. I love a clicky Damn keyboard. I, I'm actually quite sad that okay. keyboards aren't clicky. Well, you can buy one. Now. Well, my There's work whole... keyboard... Oh, it, not at work. My expression of anger would be through work. So I, I would love a clicky work keyboard. But could... it would really... I share an office with another person, Damn it. and I'm not usually angry at them, so it wouldn't really be effective because the anger clicks wouldn't really be directed at that person. So, you know. Northgate Omni Key Ultra. I need a good keyboard. I do. I have a laptop, so I'm working. I'm working off a Dell um, FPS 15, and it doesn't have the same texture as a really good old school keyboard. Well, there's a whole special group of people that are all about keyboards out there. I, I kind of feel like I could be one of those people because it's like a it's like a god damn it ASMR so texture kind of thing like a really good old school clicky keyboard sorry yeah it's very this game requires so much concentration the keyboards I've heard of those too sorry I'm so sorry it's okay <laughs> I do support you in getting past the um, waterfall stage. The... Oh, it's so beautiful. Mike, great job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mechanical keyboards, I know. It's 
Steel Series Mechanical I use currently. Yeah, I need to look into that. M original model and Steel Series Mechanical. Barely oh my that. god, you Kay. barely. Oh my god. Cat, so many distractions. Bad. Don't pay attention to the cat, pay attention to the game. No! No, what oh, are you doing? You gave he's up! Distracting you me. gave up like you were I did. losing! Okay. I'll have no. to come back to this. My Model M does <sighs> not have the windows and menu keys. Not practical these days. It's true. If you want to do shortcuts, you're kind of screwed. Ah, Logitech. Amazing game. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We need a lot more practice on it. Because it's very challenging. Yeah. Mike. Great job on the graphics. Yes. Beautiful, really beautiful. Thank you so much. So now we're going to go to our fun. fourth game of the night, <laughs> which is Tower of Rebel. Uh, if you could load that up, please. Yeah, I will. And um, so this is, this is four score. Yeah, this is uh, made by Dion Olsthorn. This okay. is for uh, high score. This is part of the Harmony Games. Uh, high score competition. This looks different. The entry, the beginning. Yeah, he has uh, on the later uh, versions. He did some updates on graphics. This is the demo version uh, that is used for the competition, and it is uh, posted in the forums. Uh, Dion has done Amoeba Jump, which is amazing. Fool's Gold, uh, which he has started on, and Tower of Rebel, which we're playing, which is coming out in the Atari Age Store, which is out in the Atari Age Store for pre-order. It's down right now, so you can't order it. So wait till it opens in May, and then you can get this game. Um, so we are going for high score here. Okay. Um, so the rules, actually, this came in second place for best graphics. Uh, first place was Zookeeper, but Zookeeper was nominated, uh, is going to be played for a different uh, competition. So he uh, decided to go with second place, which is Tower of Rubble. And the Harmony games are based off of the uh, Atari Homebrew Awards, of which we host every year. And we just had the third annual Atari Homebrew Awards a couple months ago. And uh, this was in the competition for multiple categories. So the rules are, for the high score for this is you play the demo version and the highest score wins. Um, just play until you lose lives. I don't think there's an end screen. No, there's not. Scoring for bonus points start at nine. So this is a, an, a bonus game. There, each round there's a main game and a bonus game. The main game is uh, ninja guy in low res world. So you got a 74. That's not good. Sure you can beat that. I can totally beat that. And the bonus game is this game. So first place is nine points and second place is eight points, etc., etc., etc. This round started on April 8th, so a couple days ago, and it's going to end on May 5th. So on an upcoming show, we're going to play the main game. Well, which is Ninja Sky in Low Res World, which has points. So it's very, very distinct what uh, points you're going to get for that one. This one is scored every time a brick drops down or a block drops down, that counts as a point. And it's got an amazing rhythmic soundtrack to it. Oof. Oh my god. Um, and if you've played this game long enough, there is a pattern. Mm -hmm. And the pattern is that it starts with... <gasps> That's not, not what I wanted to do. Definitely didn't beat your high score. Ah! Uh, it starts with a full island. And then eventually the sides break down. 
Mm -hmm. And then the sides, and then it gets smaller in the middle. Then the sides start building back up, and the mm -hmm. middle continues to get smaller. And what you want to do is stay on the middle until the sides are built up enough. And I usually go to the sides when there's three on the sides. Um, now you can hop across a, a gap of two, but you have to do it in a very specific way. And that's really the only way you're going to really make it onto the sides. And I'll show you what that looks like when it gets there. But right now the sides are only one and one. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to go there because there's not a lot of options if you get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Oh, too fast. You were distracting me. So, 74 was in my house. So. Oh, thank you, Dan, for keeping track there. Another tactic you want to do is stay as high as you can on the high ground because climbing up is very slow. Dropping down is about twice the speed of climbing up. So you want to climb up because if you're in trouble, you can always go down fast, but you can't climb up fast. Sometimes you don't have that option, but you do what you can. And always stay in the middle of something if you can. It's right here. Like if there's... So I'm gonna climb up here because then I have the option of climb, uh, dropping down onto the left or the right. And there's a lot of amazing things about this game. One is the music, which is astounding. Uh, another one is the smooth, smooth animation of the player. And there are a lot of frames um, that this player has. And I haven't shown you all of them. Like right now, I'm going to hop over there because there's three. And that's how you do it. You climb down onto a ledge. Actually, I should stay up there. And then I go over here because then I can run to the left or the right. But I always favor a higher mm. shelf than... You have to get to a certain level. A higher single shelf than yeah. a double. So I'm going to always go up here. You can jump across too, right? If you're hanging yeah. off the edge, you can it, jump that's across. That's pretty much the only way to One get to a side two. island. One or two? Uh, a gap of two. A gap of two. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. So it's almost rebuilding the middle now. Middle is rebuilt. Yeah. Now I concentrate on the middle while yeah. the sides cap. Good night, Carl G. Thank night, you Carl for joining G. us. And now the middle's rebuilt. And it's pretty much like starting again. Mm -hmm. it, it is a bit more intense than when you start because there's more stuff that happens. Not so far. But uh, Usually there is, like there's more lasers and stuff from the side. Right now it's very peaceful, which is unusual. There we go. Lasers from the side, the top. So always go to the top. Yeah, high points are better than low points for the yeah. most part. Always. Give yourself the most options you can. Yeah. Now there's three on that side, you but could, I don't want to go there. Jump across. You, you could, but you wanna, don't have two. You don't want to jump across because you have no options if you jump across. Right yeah. Now. And now I can't jump across. It's rough. Now I don't want to. Now, go across. now you can jump across. No, but I don't want to go there. Yeah, you. Oh shit. Damn it. You could could have jumped jumped across to the right instead of the left, but. But you're stuck. You could have done either, but you are stuck. Stuck on either side. You're right. It's One seventy three. That's it is. Good. You do get you do get uh, stuck sometimes. Thank you, Dan, for putting up that score. So there are three different types types of beams in the game. Uh, the block strike. This green laser beam is harmless and only indicates that a block of pebble will be falling from the sky. So that's the one that's constantly going down. Well, it's, it's kind of yellow green. It changes colors. Uh, a falling block of pebble is lethal, so you don't want to be under that beam. You want to get out of the way. So it gives you a bit of time, but not much. Side strike, um, which are those red beams from the side. 
um, they wipe out a full row of pebbles. Now, they don't actually hurt you. It's the results that could hurt you. The hyper beam, which is the white one from the sky, uh, will crumble a full column of pebble blocks within a few seconds. So, if you're on that column, it's going to completely drop out that column. Yeah, that's the right move to do. Because there's three, and they're all accessible. Dan says, no problem, I also keep track of a spreadsheet on my PC. Excellent. All right, no. I'm going to rub that water, and it's going to tip over one of these days. And today is not that day. <laughs> you bad cat. Meowy meowy cat. Did he get any treats? Yes, he did. Good. I always make sure he gets treats, because he He's will not... Ring the bell. Um, Perform? Do undignified acts like hitting bells. <laughs> That's not what no. Pixel does. He's like, no, I'm not doing that, sorry. So, for this game, on cartridge, there these are the options that the cartridge version has. Two-player mode mm -hmm. means two people can play at once. We do have a version that we can play, but we're playing for high score today. And we've played it on the show before. Um, and we'll play it again when we get the cartridge. Um, Don't distract me. I'm beating your score, so... What? <laughs> You're not so far. What did you get? 173. Oh, did you? Yeah. But you oh. probably won't. Ah! Pretty good. No! I'm screwed! No, go to the right! Oh, you I'm had screwed! You a whole tons of platform. Oh, I see you! That's your fault. You're distracting me. My blah, turn. blah, blah in my ear the whole time. Mm. Cat, can you go over there? You're going to tip the water. Mm. Can you get the cat? I can't reach nope. him properly. No, nope. he's going to he's gonna drink your water while you're playing. No, it's not drinking. He, he's going to throw it all over the computer. And that's the end of, that. end of many things. No, he has done it. He's not going to do that. He has done it. <laughs> it just happened to be empty at that time. I'll take I'm any advantage joking. I can get. <laughs> well, the stream's over. If, <laughs> and many other things are over, too. If uh, the water no, tips over. No, I'll make over, sure he doesn't tip over. All my hard drives are done. Why are you staring at the wall, cat? Video card's done. <laughs> Zero page homebrew's done for a no, while. No, I'll make sure he doesn't, doesn't stick his face in the water. Not his face, he rubs up against it. I know, I know, I know what you mean. <laughs> I do. It's a bad cat. <laughs> it's a bad cat. It's like, he's like a lump. It's a bad cat in a nice way. Look at this guy. I was distracted. Look at this guy. I get to go again. He's being so cute. Go nice. ahead. So there's no scores on the board yet. So this is originally, I can't remember if it's, it was, it was made on the C64 and also DOS. Oh, okay. And I so this is a port. I think it was originally on DOS. Did he win at the Atari Awards for this game for best board? No. He got second, second. place for some. I don't have the results in front of me. No, no, I wasn't. I wasn't sure. Um, I'll look it up when it's your turn. What? Uh, how well he did? Because he was definitely nominated for a, a number of awards. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ooh, I gotta get over there. There's four over there beckoning me. Dion was in the chat, he'd be able to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Presto PVC. He's back and he's had his dinner. This game oh, looks great. I it love is. the climbing animation. It is very cute. Gorgeous animation. Yeah. Ooh, it feels there? very much like little stick man, you know? Yep. Yeah, you gotta get to the middle. Ooh, Ooh that yep. was pretty middle dramatic. Time. Yeah. 
stick around here. Always take the high ground. Always. But have options. Mm -hmm. Like if I was on to the left and then it took out the right hand one, it's not good. So this one's nice. That's a nice spot. Now it's whittling down the sides a bit. Now it's building up the side islands. So there is a pattern. It is not random. Yes, Tower of Rubble is Tower the name. Tower of Rubble. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, stay there. Yeah. <laughs> you can hang off the edges, which is really cool. It's dangerous, but... You yeah. have to be flipped backwards and then pushed down. Yeah. So you can only go backwards ah. if you're facing the opposite direction, which I think is a really neat me mechanic of yeah, um, your protagonist in the game. Yeah, he has a lot of moves. Yeah. And he can jump as well, which damn is really it, cool. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, oh. I need to get to now you go, go over to the left. Oh. Yeah. Oh! 173! It's the exact same score I had before. My turn. Mm. Okay. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give I think it's the same score. It was. Yes. Don't bother writing it down. Because <laughs> I didn't beat my old one. Only write down the ones that when I beat. Because then it just gets confusing. Um... So, let me look up how it did in the Atari Awards. Yeah, it was great. Okay, Tower of Rebel. So it was nominated in Best Port, and it came in third place for that. Uh, uh, best Graphics, second place. Best Music and Sound, second place. Best packaging, uh, fourth place, and that's so it was nominated for four, I think, four four awards. So lots of nominations, mm -hmm. and uh, well deserved. But uh, it uh, just missed in one category for uh, for the award. Which one was that? One we're playing right now uh, for best music and sound. That's a that's the closest it came. So the music is just very Zen-like, I find. And if you notice, if you're sharp-eared, the music is on beat with the rubble that falls from the sky. Mm-hmm. Snare and the kick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very cool. Doing pretty good. Almost there. Don't, don't you <laughs> psych me out. <laughs> well, give me something to beat then. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't go to the right yet. I would start. Oh. Crushed your fingers. 174. Gives me something to shoot <laughs> for. <laughs> it is a rhythm game. It does feel like it, a rhythm game. Yeah. I mean, it's not in the classification of a rhythm game, but it's very close. Oh my god, that was terrible. Don't even look at that. Um, yeah, there's like 12 frames of animation of you of going down like this. Oh, no. Oh, it's beautiful. 
and so smooth because mm -hmm. the 2600 runs at 60 frames a second. Yeah, that's crazy. You're... Isn't that crazy? I don't know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Like 60 frames a second was like the standard that you try and get to on PC games. Yes. Uh, just a little while ago. Now yeah. it's like 120. Well, um, but for a long time, yeah. 60 was like, no, you have to get 60 at least. Yeah. And yet, Atari 2600s were doing it the whole time. Since 1977. <laughs> 60 frames a second. I mean, the pixels were like a centimeter in size, but that's okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but they still ran at 60. Yep. <laughs> oh, cross, crossbow is heading out. Night crossbow. Thank Thanks you. for hanging out. Thank uh, you for hanging out. Liked watching your latest video. What was it on? Oh, it was what on was it? Um, Dragonfly. Um, the recent update to the Dragonfly cart. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, to t that the update turns off the hanging notes. Mm. Oh. One second. Because there was an issue with some games if a note was being played on the Yamaha chip. I think we encountered that during the... Um, the interview mm. with Bob. Uh, one game where, remember, I turned it off and I was like, Yee! Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's an update that fixed that. Oh, good. For later carts. Mm. For earlier carts, he showed how to do a hardware modification, which I will not be doing. <laughs> it's it's yeah. way too fiddly. I, my soldering skills are nowhere near good enough to do what he did. Um, but... Um, yeah, you just have to turn off the cart if there's a note that hangs. So, And the only reason it's hanging is because you have exited a game. So you're not losing anything by turning off the cart anyway. Mm, I see. So, I don't, I don't feel it necessary, but a software update has patched um, later carts that people have bought. But it's always interesting watching these videos. Anyway, even if I'm not going to be doing what uh, he's showing. Oh, 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 oh. You're okay being on top of that, though. I am, yeah, yeah. but I just... It doesn't kill you. Oof. Wanted to get out of the way. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. As long as you're above it, you're okay. Ooh. I feel like sometimes it's targeting you, too. I don't think it is, but it feels like it. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Damn it. Let me get to the side there. Yeah, there. Oh, nope, it's too late. I know. <gasps> No, you could get across. Oh, no. I think I'm going to have to. You're not going to have much choice. Just hang there until you have to. Oh, no, you're screwed. <sighs> Just hang there until you have to. 174. Ah, oh, it was the same as me. The same issue. We're tied now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now it's a race for the high score. I'm going to die. Just <laughs> 174 was pretty good. Why is I, it going after me? Stop it. I don't think there's an exact pattern. Like, the game isn't exactly the same every time. I don't know. I think there's, like, an element of random, but pattern. Mm. Vitoko says, I'm lucky that I haven't ordered a DF cart yet. <laughs> 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 so yeah. you get a fixed one. Yeah, you don't exactly. need the hardware fix. Uh, excellent man play to not beat your partner <laughs> and make it look... <laughs> Look accidental. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. Uh... That's exactly what I was going for. <laughs> you found me out. Oh! Oh no, I wasn't. I wasn't. Wasn't paying attention. Uh, I was reading redo? the chat. I'm terrible. That was fairly short. You can never read it. Yeah. Then it's my turn. Yeah. That, One that's of us fair. has to have a high score. I'm like looking at the chat when you're talking Do about not, the chat. You can't I know. take your eyes away from this I game. I know you can't. At all. For it's a second. Bad. Ah, that was okay. You play. That was just stupid. <laughs> that was just stupid. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, that was terrible. We'll see if it actually does replicate because you were standing here and it targeted you here. It did. I think it, it's got kind of I don't think it does. I don't know. It feels like it's following the same pattern. It's not. I don't. I think it is. We can test that out very easily. Doesn't didn't just, he have different levels, random and like in in some of his development? Did he? He did in in his work in progress. Oh, there maybe in the random. work in progress there was a random one. There was a random level. I think this follows the same. The random the same one is pattern. deadly. Oh, it's really hard. Because 
you can't escape. It, it, you something. don't know if it's going to create an island for you, so yeah. you might just die. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit of noise. Ah! <laughs> oh, you almost it's died It's very there. deadly because you can yeah. run into something yeah. and a beam's coming down or a block's coming down. The timing is perfect for the beam because it it's just enough time to jump from one to another but not jump twice. So if you make the wrong move, yes, you're dead. you're dead. Dead, you know, dead, if you dead. if you run into the beam instead of out of it, it's it's over, yep. which is amazing. You can't. Um, it's the perfect timing yourself. in this game. It's really good. So you have to almost time your moves. Yeah. So that you don't run into a beam. It's like okay, a beam's coming down, then you can move. Yeah. Okay, so I'm watching for a center. Yeah. Okay, now there's a center area, but uh, yeah. So stay in the center and repeat. Oh, I have my hand on the button. There's no button in there this game. There is no button. It's so true. <laughs> it's just so automatic. It's just moving. I gotta shoot something. Oh, Kevmos is saying it used to follow the same pattern in earlier builds. I played on and on and on through the pattern several times. I don't know what this one has. I feel like there is a pattern. Mm. I don't know. I do. Well, we can easily, easily find that out by re just restarting it several times. And if it's the exact same beam in the spot. It feels a little bit like the same beam, but I don't know. You have to cross over right to the right. To the right? You, you might have missed your, your chance. Yeah. You might have missed your chance. Seriously. You're screwed. Hang on there. Oh. Maybe maybe you want to do it to the right. Oh, you're lucky. <gasps> oh, what? You went up too fast. I swear it's the same. 179. I, I think it is because it looked the same. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna play once more. I, I okay, I'm just gonna reset a couple times. It's right, middle, right. Yep, it is. It's the exact same pattern. Middle. Yeah. It is the exact same pattern. At least to begin with, um, I'm assuming it is the same every time. Yep, that was the same. Yep. Because it, it targeted is the same. you. Yep. That's a lot of moves to program into a game. Like, <laughs> How many K is it? Uh, that'd be a lot. Let's see. My cat. My cat. Tower of Rebel. It is 8K. <laughs> this is very, very good for 8K. But it. Oh, whoa, whoa, I don't know how I, li I lived through that. <laughs> I don't know how you did it either. Oh, man. It might be that... I don't know. That it's a pattern, but it's stored in a certain way. Mm. That it's not... It doesn't have to memorize everything. Like this pattern may repeat, but it, the result is just mm. a building of islands in the middle, that it's not every single thing. It's like the laser beam goes there, 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 there. And that's all it needs to do, and then the other things come into play. Come here. Come on. Come on. There. Just before the show, mm -hmm. we 
surpassed 750 followers on <gasps> Twitch. Really? Which is amazing. That is so cool. Thank you, all Everyone. of our supporters. Yes. Yeah. And we gained a bunch just today, actually. As oh, well. really? Yeah. That's so cool. Hi, hi. of YouTube followers has actually gone up quite a bit lately as well. That's or cool. YouTube subscribers. Different name every for every single thing. Let me see how many. <gasps> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, no. 160. Oh, I meant to turn around and drop down and jump across. 160. I was waiting. I was waiting for that. You want to play again? Yes, I do. Okay. 179. Very Just good. Just to solidify. Oh. Oh. oh, when you're waiting for something to happen and you just screw what screw it up. 888. <sighs> What's the name of this game? It is Tower of Rubble on the 2600. You can and download it's a homebrew. it in the Atari Age forums. Yes. One's going to come right now. There. Yep. It's the same pattern. It is the same pattern. Oh, that hurt me so much. <laughs> oh. I was like waiting for it and oh, you have to be nose. facing the right oh don't distract him he's trying to go for a high, a high score oh bye Atari. come here oh my god come here baby come here come here come say hi come he's I don't want to say hi oh, oh he's purring oh <laughs> he just loves to be touched mm. and held oh, and petted And his name's Atari. Yes, and there's a pixel around here somewhere. I'm not sure. Are you okay? Are you okay with this? He's purring very loudly. He is. I think he's okay. No, I mean how I'm holding. Oh. Oh, uh, he's purring. He's putting up with it at least. King of the castle. Probably be my last round unless I screw up or anything. I want to try again because yep. I'm really mad that I was just facing the wrong way and went off the edge instead of turning and dropping down and jumping across. Oh, that's okay. I was doing two you let me do that too. That's okay. yep. We yes. appreciate you uh, rating and uh, jumping in. Yeah, thank you so much. Yep. And we broadcast every Tuesday and Friday. Yes. 6 p.m. Pacific time. Whenever that is, wherever you are. No time to turn around. Yeah, I it's instant. Wrong.
going to stick with the left side. Oh god. No, nope, that's why. Oh. Okay, you get one more play? Okay. I want one one chance. I want to try to get over to the right after you go back to the middle. I'm convinced that's the way to go, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I want to try it. <laughs> yeah. I want to see if that gets me any further. It's targeting you. I know. Randomly targeting you. Oh, I didn't finish reading out all the things that the full version has. Um, support for pausing the game mm. with the colored black and white switch or on the 7800 the pause button support for save key for your high scores on the Atari box the save key um, a full color 8 page manual containing the game's backstory instructions, gameplay, history, strategy tips tricks and much more mm -hmm. last but not least the amazing label and box artwork by David, Dave Dry I can't remember. <laughs> I, can't I, I do remember being told the exact yes. uh, pronunciation, oh, yeah. but I'm really bad at remembering these things. Me too. Yeah. So many names. So you're going to go for the right hand side after the rebuild <sighs> in the middle? <laughs> I played this, uh, I've streamed with you long enough that I know how this, this, uh... Whoa! Now it's gonna destroy the sides. Mm-hmm. And then it builds up the yeah. islands on the edges. Then it starts building up. See if the right hand side is a nice way to go. Not so far. Oh my god. No, Look it at does. that stack. Oh, that's a good. That's not a terrible time to go. And nope, now too late. Now it's too late. Damn it, that's what I was trying to do. On that. that 160. That yep. Mm. Definitely. Oh, oh, I can't. Oh, you can't. It's oh, three. it's three. Fuck. Oh, well, that's not fine. 173. Yep. I'll yep. take it. You'll take it. You'll retire. Yeah, it that. was the 160 jump over. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> and I missed it because you were talking. I'm yeah, it's my it. fault. It yep. Is. 100% my no, fault. It's <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, but I was trying to at the 160 point jump over. Yeah. That's okay. So we will. Is that your high score? 173? Uh, did I get one? 74. I got 174. I got so, one more. Yeah. It's not bad. Not, not bad. Not bad. Yes, high score was 174. Too. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. So, today, we played. Oh, that white. Get rid of it. Oh, get rid of that white. Uh, can you turn off that? What? The 2600, just so it doesn't make the noise. Yeah. Um,. Today we played uh, Square Raid, Excellent. which was a lot of fun. Yes, um, I really like Square Raid. Really cool look to it, and really detailed, small graphics. Um, and it's simple and fun. Yep. Yep. The easy w was a little too easy for me. The hard was very about hard. right. Yes. It was very hard, very challenging, which was which was good. Well, thank you, Dan. Yeah. Um, QR co-generator very interesting to mm -hmm. see kind of the behind the scenes what's mm -hmm. going on there and to learn a little bit more about qr codes 
Uh, Kung Fu Combat 2, astounding achievement. Mm -hmm. uh, the graphics are incredible. Yeah. Um, the gameplay is challenging, mm -hmm. and I think I could definitely learn how to play it better. Mm -hmm. um, it's good there's a practice on the obstacles flying at you because you need it. Yeah. Because it's so disappointing when you get to the obstacles, and that's where you die. Mm -hmm. Not on the combat, but the things flying at you. But uh, it's nice going back and forth between a combat uh, level and then an obstacle level so that it mixes it up and it's not just combat, combat, combat. Mm -hmm. And then overworld map is gorgeous. The backgrounds are gorgeous. The huge sprites are amazing. Uh, Tower of Rubble, awesome, of course. It's, Deanoid. it's, yeah. Yeah. It's just such a fun game and it's the kind of game that we're playing together, yeah. but it's the kind of game you'd play by yourself and you would just yeah. play it for like six hours straight because yeah. you get sucked into the the repetitive music and the jumping and like, as I said, oh, 160, I was trying to jump to the right and uh, yeah, um, yeah I, I just think it's the kind of game you could just play for hours. And I think once you figure out the pattern and figure out where the right time is to jump, yeah. you could go on forever. Mm-hmm because it is a repeating pattern thing. Yeah. So if somebody beats our score, uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to figure out that pattern. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and go, okay, there's the two, time to jump. And then you just repeat. But we don't know how to get back from the right-hand side to the left again mm -hmm. afterwards. Uh, so what's coming up on the show? Uh, the next show is going to be a 7800 show. Uh, we're going to be playing Serpentine, for sure. Um, we'll probably play an old-school Bob De Crescenzo game. Ooh. Because there are so many that Pac I saw. Pac-Man? Mm -mm, I like Pac-Man. Mm -mm. We'll see. We'll mm. see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, and I don't know what I else. Like then the show after that, we're going to be playing uh, Ninja Sky and Low Res World for another high score mm. uh, for the Harmony Games. Um, and I think I can do fairly well on that. Um, then we, on the 24th, I don't know if it's going to happen, but a special unannounced event, number two, might be postponed a little later, okay, based on new information. Based on new in Oh, you're giving stuff away. Don't do that. Yeah. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, later, earlier, doesn't matter too much. What do you think, Atari? Hmm? Later? Atari earlier? says, you pet me, I purr. That's yeah, all he knows. I think later might be better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, then on May 14th, uh, we have an exclusive world premiere of Champ Games' Secret New Homebrew. I'm so excited. What is it? I'm so don't excited. Know. Can you guess? <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited, too. Yeah, I'm really excited. I have some hopes. I have some dreams. Me, too. I but do. I'm sure anything he picks is going to be amazing. Oh, he's going to do a good good job. With because he, he always he, picks, he... even if they're like unknown games, which usually they're not unknown. Well, no. Zookeeper, I would say, is quite unknown. I knew Zookeeper. You knew Zookeeper oh, yeah. before that? Yes. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, it's not a game I played, but I knew. Huh. I knew of. I didn't know I recognized it, it when, I, when, when you showed it, so. Yeah, but he usually picks really unknown. interesting games that have great gameplay and yeah. obviously lend themselves well to the 2600 mm. so i'm very excited for that and it could be anything it could <laughs> be anything except something that's already been put out mm -hmm. usually picks things that have not been done um yeah just thinking about all these other games like mappy nobody ever attempted that galaga people barely even thought about it um yeah gorf um, he did redo Gorf. Gorf did exist on the 2600. So he does, he does redo some, some games that are like, eh, it's not a great version. I think you could do better. Um, and then after that, we're going to have a little break. We do have a vacation down. coming. Yeah. We're desperately hoping that here in, uh, British Columbia and Canada that, um, we're allowed to, we're allowed to travel. <laughs> Because right it's, now we're not allowed to travel for non-essential reasons. So and, f and for good reason, because it's we're the highest infection rate ever right yeah. now in BC. Yeah. Um, it's bad. 
it's bad. bad, unfortunately, and our rollout of vaccines has been a little slow in Canada, so we're hoping things ramp yeah. up a little. If they ramp up a little, then we might be okay. Then but things will get better. But yeah. Anyway. At this rate, I, I not good. Yeah. Not good at no. all. No. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're able to join us and yeah. catch a bit tonight. Yes. Rendered Ghost. Thank uh, you very much for uh, subscribing. Yes. We appreciate it. How many? I think he subscribed for like three months in a row. Did he? Rendered all Ghost? Well, he's on the most recent he is. sub. So. Yep. Um, but, uh, so who was in the chat? Uh, we had a lot of people chatting and yes. a lot of new people, which is Lots always so nice to yep. hear new voices and, uh, people appreciative of what we're playing. Surpassed the 750 mark. That's amazing. For. That's amazing. For Atari 2600 homebrew niche within uh, a niche. A niche within a niche. Yeah, Crazy. exactly. Well, it's thank you, Mike cool. Soul. Yep. Um, uh, so. You want to read out the names? Yeah, Mike Soul, Rendered Ghost, Dan ABC, Presto PPC, uh, Nat Spectre, Kevin Most Three. Thank you for coming, and we really enjoyed Doing playing the your game. Uh, the graphics are gorgeous. Andrew Davy, Vitoko Eight Bits, uh, Crossbow Seven Seven Seven. It's Kev Seventy Three, uh, Carl G. Uh, uh, anybody? A lot of the same people. Uh, I bet there's another name up here somewhere. I think so. Oh, oh Cafe Man 2D, thank you for joining. Oh, Geekzillion, who uh, raided, I think. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Backlog Cabin. Uh, caffeinated Diabetic. <laughs> Love it. Uh, uh, whimsical Sprites, hello. Hello. Oh, sorry we didn't see your wave before. Uh, and that's the top of that's the chat. That's the top of the chat. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, oh, can I get back down? There we go. Yep. Giving back. Get. There we go. Yeah. Used to be Devin Vertigo. Oh. oh okay. Well, You're you. good people. Well, thank you. Uh, uh, so that's it for tonight. Yes. Uh, we'll be back on Friday. We'll be playing on the 7800 mm -hmm. with a bunch of new games or games we haven't played before and uh, doing the whole thing again. And I'll be wearing this shirt. My new 7800 shirt. Oh, I'm so excited. You're so excited. That I made. <laughs> yes. Hope it, uh, I mean, it's, it's still, it's still, it's not silk screened. Only mass market shirts are silk screened. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One offs. Uh, but like this those one is quite terrible. It has a weird a matte print. feel to it, whereas this one actually feels a, like it's a better print. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. What can you do? Yep. yep. So thanks for joining us. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. And uh, we will see everybody on a Friday. Yeah. So I'll see you then. Bye. Bye.